Howdy. Happy Sunday. It's the Lord's Day. Hope you all did your prayers. I put together a new computer build and I thought it would be a lot worse than it was and it wasn't. It was fine. Hi everybody. Hello, claimers. Hello, everybody. Claiming their free sub. Congratulations to all of you. Coney, I'm at Disney World right now. Get off the stream. Go spend time with your family and loved ones. That shit's expensive. If my daughter was at Disney World watching some hack e celeb instead of spending time with Mickey and Donald and Goofy... I'd be mad as hell. I'd be furious. Hope you guys have, are having a good Sunday. We actually have something, I think, kind of fun planned tonight. So tonight is a sponsored stream. Uh, but it's not the whole thing. And it's at 10 tonight. We're gonna get started. Hold on, I gotta make the tweet. We're gonna start at 10. Hold on, I gotta make the tweet now. Dude, who decided that WebPs should be standard? It's insane. <laughs> okay, so I just realized they gave me... Uh, so for the sponsor bit, one of the hashtags I have to use is... It doesn't work. Because uh, it has an exclamation point in it. But I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to tweet it right now. <laughs> okay. Go ahead and look at it. The tweet's up. All right. Uh, in case you don't have Twitter. One sec. Guys. Tonight's stream is sponsored by Ubisoft. We're going to play some Trivial Pursuit Live 2. It's a new game on the Switch eShop and on a bunch of other places. And uh, they gave me this hashtag to tweet about it. Um, not my fault. Not my fault. That's what they told me to do. So, we're going to be playing this with my friends. I got Kenny, Larry, Ray, a bunch of my Discord friends together. So, we're all going to play tonight. Ubisoft is just handing you money? Hey, I don't get it either. <laughs> But I'm happy to take it. You know? Fine with me. Can't wait to play with all my friends. Oh, I forgot to mention. You guys get to play too. There's Twitch chat integration. I forgot about that. So viewers get to be one of these characters. So you guys all get to be one. There you go. Don't cheat, by the way. Ubisoft has recognized your shill skill. I don't know if that's even true. I, I've never, like done the work to see if I've ever moved numbers ever. <laughs> I, that's not something I care about, you know? I just want to present the information. If this is now one of five games you're like, I don't know, I haven't played it yet. Maybe. Maybe I won't like it. They must love your French accent, yeah. I get on my, call, all, on my Discord calls with them to set up. Ah, bonjour! <laughs> Zach, can you please stop doing that? We're from the American division. I would like to speak to your supervisor. 
It's like 2 a.m. over in France. Stop, Zach. I have a new computer build. I think I told you guys. Uh, I upgraded a lot of my parts. Whether or not that does anything to the stream, I, I don't I don't know if that's going to move the needle. It's not like I'm playing AAA games, but there you go. Is it a console game only? Uh, I don't know. It might be on Steam. I got Switch codes. Let me look. Um, Trivial Pursuit Live. Yeah, I don't see it on Steam. It wouldn't be on Steam. It would be on Ubisoft Connect, right? It'd probably be over there. When's the Assassin's Creed cosplay? Dude, if they get money for me to be Ezio, I, first off, I'd need a fat bag. Because I've never played those games. And of course, I never advertise anything I don't use myself. But that'd be kind of fun. Does Panda sponsor people on West Coast? I mean, Punk's on the West Coast. Punk's on the West Coast. Plup is now on the West Coast. Your raid character must be crazy. <laughs> yeah, brother. You might be seeing them again soon. Sometime. Hope you guys are having a good Sunday, man. Uh, tonight we're going to take it kind of easy. Thanks, Larry. Thanks for the prime. Oh, that's not even a prime. That's a tier one. God bless you. That's real money. Dude, okay. The Waidu tournament yesterday? Oh, my fucking God, man. Ugh. I didn't know it was too much money. Yeah, so I was on the, um, I was on the call. I suggested it as an idea because, like, the way that this stuff works is, you know, we wanted to work with Star GG for, like, an integration. And I threw out the idea. I was like, dude, why do did a great tournament last year? Uh, and I know he would love to do one again, and I really like the guy because I love Waidu. He's a great guy. And I was like, how about we pitch him some money, we put everything together, and we have him do another tournament. He makes the trailer, everything goes well. And they're like, what do you think of prizing? And we were all like, yeah, I think a thousand bucks is good. Um, not realizing, I think all of us knew in the back of our heads that this was something that could happen. But we, perhaps foolishly, thought it wouldn't go down like that. Which is my fault, <laughs> right? Like, that's the, that's the TO's fault. And the organizer's fault to think that Smashers wouldn't just lay it out for a thousand dollars. What happened? So, uh, essentially, Waidu is a guy, he's a content creator, who focuses on more, uh, weird casual elements of, of Smash Bros. So, last year he had a tournament called Bad Things Happening to Good People. And I made a video about it and it did really well. And the whole point of the tournament is that anything can happen. You can gentleman to anything. It's all best of one. There's no region locking, so the Wi-Fi is terrible. The idea is, like, people can do whatever they want. The, we just want people to come together, have fun. It's really more of a social thing for people to be creative and fun and have a good time. And last year was amazing. I think there was, like, a $200 prize that Panda pitched in. Um, there might have been more money that was pitched in. I don't remember. But it wasn't a big prize. This year, we wanted to do the same thing, but we had a $1,000 prize. And, uh, unfortunately, didn't go like that. So. The guy that won it swore that they, uh, didn't read the rules and they didn't know it was a silly tournament. And that, uh, you know, they played it like a normal tournament. I think that's bullshit. But again, who cares? The point is, at the end of the day, you know, they, they did what they... They did w within their rules. Somebody in this chat, I think it was both, had a really good idea, which is the prize should be randomly generated. So you get to the end of the tournament and you get to spin a wheel or like roll a die and it has a random number from $1 to like $5,000. That would be amazing. And everybody has to watch. I think I would like that. Um, I also think if you can't agree to gentlemen to anything, it's... See, the problem is that the scary thing is if you say, okay, if you can't gentleman to anything, you have to play, you have to coin flip. Because then people could just coin flip. And maybe that, that would eventually weed itself out. But also, like, I don't know. I feel like that's not a great, uh, great ending either, you know? 
if you don't do Smash, nobody joins. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking also, if it has to be Smash, but we say it's normal Smash, but normal Smash means two minutes, all stages, all items, like when you turn on the game. That is what, that's random, you know, that's normal. That's what you have to do if you can, gentlemen. I think that would be the play. So, it's my fault. I, I, I thought that, you know, I knew that people would be lame at some point, but I didn't think it would go all the way to the top. Um, I think we got very lucky that Sharp, HBox, even Wadi got really far last time, and, like, people were willing to play ball. Uh, there were a few people that were really trying to make it fun, but, you know, what can you do? Money ruins everything, yeah. What can you do? What was so bad about it this time? It's just in the finals. Um, there were several people who would only want to do Smash Brothers. They wouldn't do anything fun. They didn't want a gentleman to anything silly. Not even like a weird stage or a custom stage. It was like normal legal rules. And that was kind of the issue is because everything grinds to a halt. You know, because nobody wants to... Nobody's in the spirit of the tournament. They're treating it like any other tournament, so. Only one of them had to want to play Smash, and they'd have to play it. Each side of the bracket had a guy forcing that, yeah. So it came down to the final two, and yeah, it wasn't great, so. What can you do? Another cringe moment in Smash history. Dude, somebody on Panda was like, uh... We're gonna make a video on this. Are you gonna make a video? I'm like, fuck no. What are you talking about? It was just Connect Four and 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 Smash. Bro like, there's nothing there. There's no meat. Nothing to talk about. I'm kind of sad because I wanted to take another shot at my video because that first one was like a learning experience, and I came away from it like eh, it was okay. But you know, it got pretty good, you know, views. But I wanted to take another shot. Why didn't y'all DQ him when he said Smash EG? I mean, that's up to Waidu. I think he said because it was like, you can't do that in finals. No. You can't do that in the finals of the tournament. They, It feels weird and wrong. I don't know. I don't know, but it was tough. Um, so I got the chance to play Mario Strikers during the beta test. It's a fun game. It is a fun game. I'm having fun. The online is not good. Online is not good. Did you play solo or with a teammate? They only had a teammate when I played. They don't let you play solo. You have to pair up with somebody. Uh, the online is very bad. Um... And I never realized how good the online and charged was until now. Dude, I don't know how they did it. The online and charged was like perfect. It was it wasn't rollback, but it was like it was just it was one to one for the most part. The Wii online was so good. Isn't that insane? But this one wasn't great. Now it might have just been the net coat, like, the connections I had, some of them were god-awful, some of them were, like, okay, um, and it was four people, so, like, you know, that involves four connections, so maybe if it's 1v1, it's a little better, um, but, is this just your LAN adapter fucking up again? No, I bought a new one! <laughs> I bought a new one for that, that reason explicitly, so, I don't know. I'm a little disappointed, but, but, we're gonna still give it a shot. The gameplay itself was okay. Uh, I, I didn't have a lot of fun. I played it for like 40 minutes, and then I was like, eh. And I didn't care to play anymore, so. Is it like Smash with no rollback? There's, Switch isn't capable of rollback. I don't think they can do it. It is also a beta. Maybe they'll fix it. I don't know. We'll see. 
With Nintendo, you can't assume anything pre-release. Yeah, that's the... It makes it so difficult to do. But... I don't know. It's a weird spot to be in. Uh, I, I hope it's good. I do. I really do. I hope it's a fun game. But... They have... What, five days now? On Friday? Dude, you know what sucks? Cuphead is supposed to come out on the 30th. I'm flying to a tournament that day. I might have to start a Cuphead stream at like 12 noon. If that, maybe earlier. 10? I might stream from the hotel. Can I do that? Is hotel internet good enough? I guess it depends where you are. Hmm. I'll figure it out. Not unless it gets delayed right now. I think it's getting delayed, brother. I really do. I think it's getting delayed. We haven't heard anything. <laughs> I am not confident. One bit. Not at all. You know what else I'm not confident in? This bullshit. More gameplay. Sonic Frontiers. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, boy. Can't wait. Let's take a look at this asshole, see what he's up to. But before we do, you know it's not time for Sonic. We got three chores to do. Let's go. Oh, come on. <laughs> what is he whispering? Get up? Is he waking you up for sex? You didn't get this? Virgin's lover out of a deep sleep? To make love? That's kind of selfish. <laughs> She's, is she, they're asleep in the bed. He's like, hey, get up. Gotta sing you a song. How horny do you have to be? Down horrendous. Women do this? <laughs> Not in my experience. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like I'm the virgin plus L. Oh, Marvin. Marvin, what have you done? Okay, that one was pretty easy. What's this? Uh... Uh, Amos? France? Oh, is this in Glorious Bastards? I've been wanting to watch this movie. Bro, you can't find it anywhere. Okay. I've wanted to watch this movie. I can't find it on anything. Like, it's it's not on any streaming service, ever. Isn't it on Amazon? I, it wasn't when I looked. It's so annoying how movies just come and go off these platforms, dude. Just constantly. And then the sites that are supposed to tell you where they are don't actually refl reflect reality. It's not true. Watch it on stream. I actually have a bounty for a watch party for The Boys Season 3. <laughs> so I could do that. I have a bounty. It says watch a... Host a diabolical watch party for The Boys Season 3. The Boys is fire? Guys, watch parties are actual stream poison. You don't understand. They had to take the viewership limit from the bottom of this and cut it out. They were like, people will not show up. <laughs> Get the bag. I'm already getting a lot of bags. Tonight is a sponsored stream. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is a sponsored stream. Sunday is a different sponsored stream. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday after that is a sponsored stream. I'm getting plenty of bags. I can avoid the boys season three. How about another one? That's true. There's no limit to bags. Inglorious Bastards is apparently only on AT&T and Spectrum. Yeah, I, that's what I saw too. That doesn't mean anything to me. Okay. Go. Oh, is that Top Gun? Right? All I saw was Tom Cruise with the glasses. Again, 
the guy that makes this site, I don't think it, it can't be random, right? He's picking the days. These games just get too easy, especially with the new one out. Sponsored ass movie doll. Dude, that's a sick way to sell off this site. Just make it only Paramount Pictures. Of, of past and future. Amazing. You got Inglorious Bastards into Top Gun. A man made this website easy. <laughs> yeah, these are getting a little uh, too obvious. Continues on with yet another look at Sonic Frontiers. Tony, he isn't going to pick some bullshit from 1945 that no one's seen. Sure you can. Pick M. Pick uh, Metropolis. Night of the Hunter. How about some cinema, huh? Gameplay. This time, focusing on combat. Sonic is up against... It's an all-new set of baddies, some Combat. of which are among the most massive bosses Ugh. we've ever seen in a Sonic game. Fortunately, Sonic's got some new tricks up his sleeve. Make sure to stick with IGN all throughout June because we've got a full hands-on preview and interviews from the developers in store. For Can't now, though, wait. enjoy the combat of Sonic Frontiers. Yeah, isn't combat in Sonic games just jump over and over? This looks so bad. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, you, you, uh, this is unbelievable. You could have told me that a fan made this and i would have i would have turned the stream off i would have just closed the tab yeah okay fan made sonic this is insane what's happening there why is it that looks like a glitch i i don't think it's supposed to be but let's see want <laughs> look at these frames one, two, three, four, five, six. He got there in six frames. He is fast. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. It looks like a glitch. Combat in Sonic games is always bad. Enemies are supposed to be obstacles to movement, not stuff you fight. Why is he fighting this guy then? <laughs> this dude's just chilling out in the middle of a field. Nothing going on here. This thing isn't bugging or bothering anybody. That does not look... This does not look like he's running. It looks like he's caught in a tornado. Like, this doesn't look like Sonic is doing this move. Whoa! <laughs> he looks like he regains control at the end, I guess. Currency? Those weren't rings. The first thing you're going to buy is a glider. <laughs> Tails is the glider. You only use Tails when you need to get down from somewhere. Okay, I'm just going to use that move. Why would I not just use that move? That's a strong ability. Maybe it takes resources or something? Uh, why are all the enemies marbles? That one's not. That's a tree. <laughs> Jeez, Sonic. Oh, open it back up. Open it. You can't kill it in one cycle. So you gotta have fun two times. Oh, three times. Three times of fun, Sonic. <laughs> gotta pick up the rings. <laughs> All right. Three times the fun. Amazing. A normal enemy taking three cycles to kill. Oh, look at that water. I am old hate mess. I really am. 
Sonic, you just... Le That's not gonna work. Sonic, we just learned how to defeat these. Not that move. It didn't even kill it. Oh! What? Didn't work. Whatever you just did. This doesn't look fun. This just looks annoying. This is the second enemy you've shown in the game, and it's pissing me off. It's so tanky. Surely there's a third enemy. What a fucking train wreck, dude. Okay, these might be more fun. Oh, it's Bam Ham! Sonic, hit the dodge! Okay, that's kind of cool. I kind of like the idea of running a circle around it to knock it in the air. I, that's not bad. I kind of like that. I can see that being fun. So there's a focus camera. See, like, he hit a button and went... Yeah, there was a dodge, too. How could they, like... You know what's weird to think about? How could Sega have known, back in the 90s, that tying their franchise to speed is one of the most short-sighted things you could do. You know what I mean? Like, how could you have known? Like, it sounds so cool. But in practice, when your game and character are based around speed, like, you, you could only go so fast before the player loses agency. Uh, like, or you're just watching a movie. Is it? I mean, they just suck at using it. I Maybe I just haven't seen... Do you know any games, other than racing games, I guess, I guess, that use, like, speed as a mechanic? And I'm actually asking. I'm not doing this to be an asshole. I, I'm curious. Like, Melee? Not a fighting game. Like a, singles, a single player. Roller Champions. Okay. <laughs> Tribes? Ghost Runner? I have not played Ghost Runner. Titanfall. Pathless. I haven't seen Pathless. Mario 64. You're saying Mario 64 does Sonic better than Sonic? <laughs> I'm just saying that, like, there's a fine line in, in speed games where it's like, you lose control of what you're supposed to be doing, or it's, that, like, it's a very... Either the game is on rails and your input doesn't matter regardless because you're you're going through a set of of, of set pieces and you know the, like the whole thing where you hold up on Sonic and he goes through the loops and does all the bullshit, or you you have full control and you don't know where the fuck you're going. And I don't know how you fix it. Most platformers fit that bill, but speed isn't the main focus. That's what I'm saying. If speed is your main focus, you have a problem, right? Because then the the best answer is you make a game that has to be so simple, it's a fucking mobile game. You're making Temple Run, but fast. Sonic has the issue where the devs have to design more track that gets less appreciated the faster Sonic is. Yeah, like... I've seen so much stuff in Sonic that looks awesome. But it's like, how much work has to go into that? Because he's going through it so quickly, you know? Dude, the fact that his upper body doesn't move at all is so funny to me. Look at him run. <laughs> I mean, th that bird just phased through the platform. I, I, know, I know it's an early look. I know it's an early look. But I just, maybe I'm being pedantic. I don't know. Maybe I'm being an asshole. I, I just. I don't know, man. Oh! That 
it's kind of a neat like like this is a cool approach to towers but it should be taller right that should be way taller that's a cool idea but his hat oh oh it's not taller because you have to do it three times oh my god <laughs> you have to do it three times are you kidding me why dude who is the first person to design you have to do th something three times in a video game i want to go back in time and kill them if I had a time machine, that's the first thing I would do. Mario boss? <laughs> yeah, but it's okay when Mario does it. I can't think of what the first three hit boss is that I can think of. I guess you could say Bowser in 64, but that was at the end of the game. Yahoo! What's a three? This boom Boom? Is, is that three? Speed well link. Is bo boom Boom is three bounces on the head, right? The do-do-do-do. Okay. Is that the first one, though? 2D Sonic invented it? That's not true. Bro, you had to hit Robotnik, like, dozens of times. That motherfucker was tanky. What's this? This game uses speed well. Bro, you're a ball. This doesn't count. I guess Sonic's a ball. Sonic could also be a ball. Doesn't count. Not a meme. Does anyone think this game looks good? Yeah, unironically. Unironically, like, don't... I, I, I don't mean to shit on anybody's parade. Is there anybody that looks at this and thinks it's appealing? And I mean this sincerely. I'm not trying to dump on you. There are those people, but not here. Hold on. This game looks like it could be interesting. As of right now, it looks like a fan-made game. We're all rooting for you, Sega. Expend extra time and money in the game that you made relevant in the pop culture. Bro said, keep working. Don't stop now. This isn't good enough. Combat moves and all look really cool in terms of variety, but the enemies look tedious as hell to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Three times! Cool. hear that? that oh it is the game did anybody else hear their door knock did you hear that like when he did the hoo -hoo -hoo, it sounded like a door knock listen you hear that you see what I'm talking about right it sounds like it's in a different spot whatever it's in the game it just sounds like it's it's somewhere behind me. It's the whoosh of the wind. I know. I know it's the speed. I get it. What is this thing even for? What do you get? A chaos emerald? That's the sound of the IGN. I think it's looking good visually, but gameplay is lacking. Uh, uh, the new Sonic game looks like Solar Ash, but bad. Some kind of boss from a $30 indie game last year. Uh. <laughs> Ugh. 
Please, County Link. What? What? What is this? I forgot he did this in the movie. Who has artistic vision? He's showing up Sonic Team with each decision. <laughs> no. He makes it in a flash, and all the assets clash. Do his artistic skills know no boundaries? Sega hired this man. Sega hired this man. This is silly. I. I just, uh, I don't know, man. What are they going to do? Maybe that Yakuza money will save them. I don't. It's so weird, the spot that we're in, right? Like, Capcom is now relevant again. Capcom is huge and honestly looking great with more and more stuff that they're doing. Hold on. Capcom is back. Konami's making Silent Hill. <laughs> Make SNK relevant again? That's impossible. I don't I don't think you can do that. New awesome sauce video. It's on Yoshi's story. It seems my favorite stage, by the way. It's my favorite stage in the game. I love this shit. Everybody loves this stage. Smash posting! Well, you know, mine is a few characters. It's got a cute little sun island. Well, Wait. you know, mine is a few characters. Why do they hate it? I actually don't. I guess Jigglypuff dies mad early, right? Floaty? Yeah, I was going to say, this is clearly a floaty issue. Why does Luigi hate it? What's wrong with Luigi? It's got a cute little sun island. It's they all die early? All island. of them? Uh, it's got this guy and a nice cardboard aesthetic to tie it all together. But as melee players are well familiar, even the things we love can have problems. And Yoshi's story is no exception. Let's begin our journey I just with love a the look into the, the, the cloud, or as melee players call him, Randall. Among Melee's competitive state. Does anybody know where he got that name? I actually don't know the story, and I feel like I should. Stages respective hazards. Randall is probably the least contentious of them all. Smash boards? For yeah. one, he's entirely predictable, consistently emerging from the stage when this last digit reaches four, on the left when this other digit is even, and on the right when it's odd. <laughs> Particularly mindful players can use this to their That's advantage. That's nerd shit, stalling dude. Stalling in the air long enough to recover onto it or surviving a spike by DIing toward it. Though in a game as fast-paced and frantic as Melee, keeping track of the timer is something pretty rare. Tough for It blows my mind players. that people do that sincerely. I, I can't be convinced that it's on purpose. Second, Randall is only kind of fucked up. You can do a roll from ledge not onto the stage, but onto <laughs> him if you time it correctly. Cool. Which looks pretty weird. But you can also throw peep correctly. This looks which really looks bad. Pretty weird. Right? If you do this, you're gonna die. You're <sighs> any character could kill you off this. But you can also <laughs> throw people into the stage using him. Which, I guess, is hardly even notable anymore. It's cooler here, though, because you can take a ride on Randall while you're doing it. It is pretty rough to get it, though, requiring extremely precise timing <laughs> on either side of the stage. Often I've never seen that before. Often only a two-frame window, depending on the throw. How have I never seen that? E. My theory on why this works has to do with collision boxes I and guess, throw releases. I guess you would never want to put somebody in the stage. I'm shocked this hasn't happened in Melee's history. Like, two players are going for a timeout, and one of them puts the other one in the stage. <laughs> I guess you could just jump back out. But the idea would be very funny. Put them in the box. No! <laughs> it's not easy to do. I mean, like, when are two people ever going to be on Randall's? Also, timeout on Yoshi's. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I want to see it one time. 
When you're throwing an opponent, your opponent's collision box is frozen until they're either freed prematurely or thrown. When the animation is completed, the game runs a check from your position to your opponent's. If there's nothing solid between you two, the throw continues as usual. However, if obstructed by, say, a wall, the game corrects your opponent's position to prevent them from clipping through a solid ah. object. The correction being simply moving them over a bit on the x-axis, where their trajectory continues as normal. Huh. But I if your throw that. animation doesn't complete as normal, such as by getting pushed off of a certain cloud, this check normally done at the end of the animation never occurs. And thus, if timed well, players can be released into the stage Falco gets to without enjoy a worry nice ride. of this check ever occurring. <clears throat> Asterisk. What's really cool is that while you're in here, you can pretty much do whatever you want. You can attack. Yeah, but it's so you can short. Taunt, you can kill yourself. I was gonna say this would be fun for doubles. You put your your friend in the stage, and then they crouch on Randall and just pop up with up smashes and shit. Just hide in there. Doubles matches on the isn't this stage banned in doubles? It has to be. Cause it's too small. You can jump back through the stage. Wait, it's not? It's legal? Oh, that's Fountain of Dreams. Okay. Wait, this stage is legal in doubles? Bro. I just found a new strategy, bro. Where's SFAT and Pew Pew U, dude? Just put your boy in the stage. <laughs> Have to go on a little ride and just pop an up smash halfway through. Please. And, if the stars align, you can do a cool new form of stalling. Now, there oh, is shit. another stage hazard on Yoshi's story that is <laughs> less desirable. If, if a Peach ever ended up doing this, honestly, I would just give them the win. This looks so complicated. This would be so hard to do if you can't even see yourself. You have to make guesses and shit. The Shy Guys. You've earned it. Yay! I love the, the shy guys, said dude. To cause mischief, and they do. Normally, shy guys carry around various food items for players to heal with, but in tournament where items are disabled, they instead just fly around and fuck shit up. They're known for their infamous shy guy di. Oh, the shy guy di. Extending the duration of hitboxes. Guy di. Wait, I've I've legitimately never seen that before. Wait, are they turned off? Shy guys are turned off. They're not? I feel like I've never seen them. I f I maybe I d maybe I'm making that up. I don't know. You can't turn off shy guys. I thought it was like a frozen st Yoshi's or something. Why don't I ever see them? Am I just not looking for them? Huh. I've d I don't that's crazy. Huh. Around and fuck shit up. They're known for their infamous shy guy DI. <laughs> What's happening there? Oh, the oh, shy guy DI up top. Yeah. Extending the duration of hitboxes. I want to see that happen. Not yet anyway. I love them. For another aerial I did know that part. The shy guys say hello. And their most depressing act of mischief, making duck retire. Oh, 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 shy guys, shy guys, the forces of nature are protecting shy Johnny. Shy guys, <laughs> cock blocking you, boy. Man. There are so two of them, too. Dog, that was Not so just strong. one. Oh, he gets the knee in that. That's so sad. Oh, oh, he did the fist yeah. bump with the no, he did Can't the no icon, eyes, the no bro. icon. That's that so sad. Bump. That really was the last time Duck entered a tournament seriously, by the way. <laughs> Let's hone in on Shy Guy DI for a moment, though. Weird look. Wait, but who picked the stage? Wait a minute. Oh, S2J did. Okay, he's allowed to be mad then. So dog, he, dog, that was it was an yeah, S2J. What kind of question is that? It was Samus Falcon. Of course he did. He no, I the tournament. Okay. Weird looking, huh? But like, what is even happening? Well, after you're thrown Shy in guys melee, are a hitbox is generated around you for a number of frames depending on your percent. If while you're in this state you collide with something that has a hurt box, like a player, certain blocks, or shy guys. Both the thing you collided with and you are placed in hit lag. Dude, I hate that this is different in every Smash game. This is so annoying. 
every Smash game has a different approach to, like, throws. Um, and who's, like, invincible and when you can hit people. This was in Brawl, but not after. It's in Brawl. I don't know if it was after. I can't... I, I don't even... I can't even articulate what all the things are. I know that in in Brawl, you could interrupt throws easily. Um, It was very easy to just stuff people out of throws. Uh, I think... I don't remember four, but I know in Ultimate, you can't stop a throw from happening, right? Like, if, if, if it's in Ultimate, the throw starts, and then you have to wait for it to finish, which creates all these really annoying spots where somebody's holding, and then you try to... You have to, like, hold a smash attack waiting for them to be done with the throw, but then it's over immediately, and they can block. Yeah, they're fully invincible. Yeah, I can't remember four. I think they were invincible, but... A frozen state that normally occurs after you're hit by a move. Now, my guess is that because you're both in hit stun and in hit lag, the game treats you as if you were just hit by an attack and allows you to input DI because of this. Now, if you're in hit stun long enough... Look at this try-hard-ass controller. allows you to input DI. Look at this. Ew! <laughs> Yuck. Okay, I'm gonna ask a noob question. I, I I can't believe I'm actually asking this. Uh, considering I've been in the scene so long. What are these for? Is that for Firefox, right? For up bees? Angles. Okay, that's what I thought. Sure. That's what I thought, but I, I didn't know. Uh, why not just be better? Why, why do you get to cheat? Huh? Why do you get extra notches? It's a giant debate right now. <laughs> Isn't that Z-Jump too? There's always some shit happening in Melee. I, because of Furthest diagonal angle you can get before the game thinks you're doing straight horizontal. This. Okay. Now, if you're in hit stun long enough, and there are enough hitboxes to collide with to continue iterating on the initial throws trajectory, <laughs> oh my God. such as giant packs of Shy Guys, Holy things can shit, get Falcon. really strange, as you're being given multiple opportunities <laughs> to DI a single throws knockback. On top of any SDI inputs you might do on each Shy Guy collision. I wish this was an ultimate and I wish this was legal. I would I would make the game have 50 Shy Guys every f 60 seconds. Just like a wave of them all at once. Just descending upon the stage like hornets. Everybody comes down. That sounds amazing. Note that this reliance I want on just littered in Shy Guys. That's terrific. Is why Shy Guy DI doesn't affect players simply being What's going on with the arcade? Oh, I think, yeah, sometimes the nozzle gets messed up. <laughs> that happens. Yeah, I had to go over there and fix the, the, the vertical, whatever it is, the tracking. Oh, there it goes. It's fixed. Into them. Regular attacks don't cause players to be knocked back with a hurt box. I think it's a Only color thing. I think it's like it depends on what colors are on the screen because then it starts doing that. Thank you, Pink, for the prime. Do. Segway. Bro, okay. This is totally apropos of nothing on this stage. Can you, motherfuckers, stop complaining about slants on stages? I'm sick of that. Everybody complains about slants on, on every stage. It's more of an ultimate thing, I think. I'm sick of that, bro. Let stages be different. I'm so tired of this. Remember that other stage I talked about with the fucked up ledge? Fuck the me, one that man. allows players to be battlefielded or not grab the ledge when it seems like Please, they should have. No. It's a bit of a misnomer, you see, because getting battlefielded isn't exclusive to Battlefield. In fact, it's not even the only legal stage it can happen on. Battlefield if you'll recall from my Battlefield video, ledges with too much space immediately beneath them can sometimes cause players' ledge grab boxes to go slightly beyond grabbable ledges. Oh, that's sad. When this happens, players are prevented from grabbing the ledge, leading to some questionably taken stocks. This same extended ledge that exists on Battlefield exists too on Yoshi Story, but to a lesser extent, making getting battlefielded possible, but occur far less often. Though I feel like, again, this shit, I never see this stuff happen. For as much as this gets talked about, I, I don't, maybe I'm not paying attention. Though the dreaded occurrence does still raise some question marks over the heads of even the best players. 
Here's a clip of Zayn getting battlefielded in tournament, for example. Jump counter. The same iteration. Oh! oh. oh. Well, I was gonna say, never mind. his ass wasn't high enough. Nope. Nope. Mars hand did not touch the ledge. Well coded game. Good programming. Good programming. Thank you, Just Sakurai. Just underneath these janky ledges, though, are my personal favorite quirks of the stage. See these little protrusions? They're not just for show. They're actually interactable parts of the stage's geometry. And these little bumps are the cause of many weird deaths and interactions. Couldn't get much, though, Mike, with the good uh -huh. guy. Off stage now, though. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the slot! That was sick. He got the slot! <laughs> oh, no! What? Hit right in the slot. The Randall's home. Yeah. This Wait, is that what that is? That little spot right there? You can bounce off that? <laughs> That's amazing. Though for years, many I'm learning have attributed so much these about strange this game. happenings to the slots Randall emerges and exits from, a misconception dating back to ancient times, when the phenomenon was tastefully known as Randall Slot. R oh. In truth, these oh. slots do nothing at all and have no actual collision of their own. Also worth noting is that Randall doesn't even really come out of them. He more so pops out in and out of the stage near them. These interactions happen when a player is sent flying directly into the upward or downward slope of these <laughs> protrusions and are actually I love quite that. rare that due rules. to how small these bumps are. That's amazing. Additionally, because these bumps are positioned deeper toward the center of the stage I mean, you than could the tech ledge it, itself, right? you can't just meteor someone grabbing ledge tech to bounce it. them off. In my experience, it's much easier and more common to get these weirdo ricochets off of the underside of the ledge, partly due to how much larger they are. Oh, that could oh, be what? Wow. Wait. The ledge, partly due to how much larger they are. Oh, because Falco's goes up. I was like, oh, that's just the shine. But I was like, wait, he's not Fox. Oh, that could <laughs> be what? Falco's wow. goes, Doof. Though I guess no one's teching that. Yeah, nobody's good enough. So much these protrusions as it is. If the melee same players were good, they would play the new game. Building to occur. Finally, here are a few rapid-fire oddities you can do on this stage. They're afraid of you competition. You can do this by holding the stick toward the ledge while riding Randall. <laughs> Bowser has a great, simple ledge jump no impact land on this stage, Ooh. making him actionable far sooner than other characters so jumping from ledge. Here. Another plus for him on Yoshi's Story. Ooh! That's pretty cool, Bowser! While you're on these little slants near the ledge, you can angle some moves a bit lower. Allowing characters to yeah, we love slants. Options. These slants also allow Fox to get 22 semi-actionable invincibility frames with a series of extremely difficult inputs. An impressive leap from his already impressive 16-frame ledge dash galant high score. What? Impressive leap from his already impressive. Motherfucker is charging a smash. 16 frame ledge dash galant high score and both marth and youngling gain a full kill him ledge stall kill him ladies. get also him boys slants at the end of the stage get that marth i'm assuming and that is all probably well there is in fact one more interesting aspect i'm sure more people haven't done that, that was discovered in 06 but its name is a little risque. I'll tell you what it is, though. I'll tell you. It's called the nasty fucking. Sh <laughs> I don't know what he's. Big thank you to Corrit, Cooper C, Dub. I don't know what he's memeing. I feel like that's got to be a meme, but I don't know what it is. He's talking about the elephant. The nasty. I love that elephant so much, dude. Probably to be continued, yeah. I love this elephant because, like, he just wants you to stop fighting. He's been begging people to stop fighting for decades. Fucking And he still just... He hasn't gotten anybody to stop... It's an elephant? Are you kidding me? I'll tell you. It's what do you think? The Actually, it kind of looks like a watering can. And with all, like, the plant motif. You know what I mean? I could see that. Be nice. <laughs> it has tusks. Yeah. 
His name is Pachyderm. Yeah, so it's definitely an elephant. I don't know why he's wearing pants. I don't know why he doesn't have arms. Pachyderm. Love him. Love him. Love him so much. There he is. Oh, God. Him with blue eyes freaks me out for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, he's half egg. That's not pants. He wears uh, an egg for pants. Very cute. All right, to keep the smash posting going. Uh, if you were in the I have a little bit of a be uh, blast from the past here. I promised him I would watch this on stream a while back. Uh, and I haven't done it yet. Yeah, it's more smash posting. I know you guys love it. Good friend Junebug. My boy Junebug, my actual friend in real life that I love dearly, made a video on Project M. Now, Project M 3.0, I know a lot of you are very young and might not remember this. It's considered the golden age of Project M, and it is, of course, where I first began my competition uh, days in that game. And I, uh, I stopped pretty soon after the, uh, <laughs> pretty soon after they changed. So I promised him that I would watch this at some point. The Smash community yeah, this game's fucked up, you dude. You probably would have very fond memories of Project M3.0. This game is fucked. It's this fun-to-play, new, community-made game coming out at a time where Smash wasn't doing so hot. From being played by almost every Smash player across the aisle to being streamed at every major tournament by almost... Dude, it was really cool. This era where, like, actually everybody was together was actually super cool. Every Smash player that was across neat. the aisle to being streamed at every major tournament. It was impossible PMU2 to avoid is cool the as game. Fuck? Shut However, up. while this Shut was a golden era of, of visibility, Stop. the game was also one of the first large-scale attempts at character balance and design Relax. in Smash Bros. Because of this, it was far from perfect and featured some of the strongest Smash characters of all time. Let's talk about the big four in the Project M 3.0 meta. Ugh. Lucas was arguably the coolest spectator character of the big four. Arguably. A quick semi-fast faller with double arguably. jump canceling, a disjointed shine, and combos that could kill you as early as 60%. Is this still the most watched Smash set ever? It was for a while. Mewtwo King Neon was, like, insane. If that sounds strong to you, it's because it is. Oh, Lucas Evo beats Saibu's it now? PK Freeze, <laughs> Got him. that covered a horizontal vector and served as a low-lag tool that allowed him to set up his oppressive neutral. Ugh. Lucas Down B, a.k.a. Magnet, is a multi-hit move that could be jump-canceled out It's of. a shine! This is the Lucas Shine, which we all know makes any up-close aerial pressure much stronger. A late aerial into Magnet was usually Look at this dude cheating! Shield. DJC aerial into Magnet put Lucas at the perfect height for shield pressure. Down B then led into solid confirms of its own. DJC aerials and Magnet were on shield pressure. Down B then led... He could kill you with this at like 30. Led into solid Look confirms at this. Boom, of its own. Boom, DJC 30 aerials and Magnet were you also could die to great that. at extending combos. Magnet set behind Lucas and allowed for another follow-up. DJC aerials left you very close to the ground. I'm not going to be in this. Air had Wario really was good angles. terrible. Down throw and up throw. He was, was awful in this game. Dash attack Only I could right make him, him Then we had the tap dance. Lucas this dare. fucking move. Dare was a huge aspect of his kit. A remnant of his dare from Brawl, Lucas dare was a disjointed multi do, 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 do. that set do, 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 do. you up perfectly do, 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 do. for his combo state at low percents or a smash attack. Ah, there's percents. Pink Fresh. It had this thing called the tap dancer extraordinaire. Multiplier. This was a fix in an attempt to make multi-hit moves better. Lucas Downer had a 0.6 multiplier, meaning SDI was only 60% as effective as normal. Yeah, you can't so get out. to get out of. Cool. Lucas Neutral <laughs> B was changed from PK Freeze to PK Charge. He effectively... Coney, this game was awesome. Coney, immediately salty about Lucas. Lucas is the one of these I hate the most. Had a Except, for mechanic, Except like for Mewtwo. Except for Mewtwo. Except instead of charging Mewtwo, specials, then Lucas. He charged then his Diddy. smashes. And with charged smashes and his aforementioned Actually, combo maybe, potential, maybe, Lucas was consistently maybe Diddy landing Diddy more than Lucas. pretty gnarly death combos on all characters. Oh, now Pink Fresh, like, you trying to pop off on me? Um, oh my god. Oh my god. He also had a kill throw with up throw. A lot of the characters in 3.02. Bro! Oh my god. He also had a kill throw with up. He's not grabbed! Gotcha! <laughs> that snake was vengeful. Look at 
that snake, dude. Yup. I never realized just how long this is until now. Good God. Look at that fucking head. A lot of the characters in 3.02 had really strong recoveries. Ugh. So having a kill confirmed meant a lot. Lucas also had a tether recovery. This recovery made Lucas slightly harder to edge guard, and the counterplay to it hadn't really been developed as it is now. Some characters could deal with it pretty well, though. Lucas up B also did too damage, much, which in combination with his tether made his recovery really threatening. If you want to see some 3.0 Lucas action, check out some pink fresh. Unfortunately for I don't, Lucas, I don't there was see one semi-fast faller that was still, in my opinion, stronger than him. Ew! 3.0 Diddy. Why does he have human teeth? Do monkeys have human teeth? Spider monkey teeth. No. No. Well. Diddy doesn't have fangs, I guess. Ugh. <laughs> well, kind of. Yeah, okay. I don't know. They just they, it looks like they went to a dentist and and got like human teeth. I'd never seen this taunt before. I didn't even know that he opened his mouth. Diddy Kong was a mess and I loved him. The easiest thing to point out Why does he get two? He two bananas. Banana is a projectile used in Smash for zoning limiting areas of the stage, and can confirm combos, a.k.a. trip you, for follow-ups. Motherfucker just Two throwing him. was already strong enough in a game like Brawl, where the aggression was fairly limited. Now Diddy had an amazing wall that you had to deal with every time he got a slight advantage. Diddy could glide toss and aerial glide toss Ugh. in and out seamlessly, and confirm combos off his projectile wall. Without a reflector, strong item play, or playing the floor is lava. This tournament is where I met K9. He was a really cool guy. I thought he would be a, a raging psycho, right? Because of all the stuff I saw online. He was really cool. K9 was great. Thanks, Zector. There's Cephalon in the back, too. Roy Legend. He's chill as fucking person. He was really cool, yeah. It was easily the He's most just really passionate, yeah. In the game. And his goofy he's a really cool guy. He's, he was he's awesome. Just beating you with garbage while yelling at you. He didn't just have options in neutral, though. His punish game was Nightmare region. Easy. Nightmare region. Diddy, Diddy. And who's this in the back? Who do you think he plays? Who do you think that guy plays up there? Diddy. Strong. Banana confirms were pretty consistent as people didn't really know banana counterplay in text back then. After Stupid. a grab, down throw would text. Nightmare face, region. Up throw linked into Nair for pop ups and dare into If they're chases. using all this Xanadu footage, I might be somewhere. A kill. Raging Dash my fucking brains with a multi -hit out. That linked into itself. <laughs> fair off the stage. Fair had an amazing knockback and angle. Man, I, I miss when Diddy could kill. Huh. His recovery. Lit so, oh, man, I, I'm. You guys know this guy, Bacon Pancakes. He's uh, he's actually very good at PM now. Um, he's like top what? How good is he now? Top, t I think he was top ten a while ago, right? I don't know if he's still good or whatever, but top ten, okay. He was really good. The reason I bring it up is because he used to suck. Uh, we used to play, and he used to be a pretty free win. Now, he was always very good. He's a great player and would do amazing on stage. And if I if I had to fight him on stage, he would do like 100% off a single hit. Beat my ass. But the moment you got this guy off stage, he would crumble. I used to kill him at 20. Dude could not recover. And I was like, geez, if he ever learns how to jump... He's going to be a good player. And now he is. Good for him. He had the, like, new Fox problem. Where he had, like, the best on-stage technical ability I'd ever seen. But I miss one that he could kill. Huh. He plays Fox now? Oh, he went back? Because when I played, he played Fox. And then he went to Diddy, I think, for a while. Now I guess he's back on Fox. Recovery. Let's just say they called him Deep Kong for a reason. No, not quite. So Deep Kong. Stupid. Deep Kong! <laughs> he could recover from the bottom. And I mean the bottom of the blast zone. Even if you could hit him, you would He's take fucking damage. barrels, barrels created by a monkey after getting hit. Oh boy! Oh boy! It's me! Edge guarding opponents. It's me yeah. enjoying being edge guarded could hit him, by Diddy by accident! Damage. Barrel. Watch this. Seventy one ninety nine, okay? Hold on. Wait a minute. Okay. 
71, good guy. Against 99 on the bad guy. Okay? The good guy is at 71, the bad guy is at 99. Let's watch. Edgeguard won. Hit and would damage. Okay. After Edgeguard won, we neutral air. It is now 71 to the good guy, 108 to the bad guy. Okay. What happens next? And even kill Edgeguarding. Oh, look at that. I took damage. 81 on the good guy, 116 on the bad guy. Now, I took 10. He only took 8. He took 9 at first, and then he took 8. Okay? Opponents. If you want to see... Oh, is that it? Oh, it doesn't keep going. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, no. You thought you were going to get away. Hold on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Does this... Vi oh, this VOD probably doesn't fucking exist anymore. This isn't the end of this. This happened for like 45 seconds. This was a 45 second in interaction here. Okay, all right, well, I can't find it now. The VOD is fucking gone. I don't know how June found it. This shit lasted forever. After and I couldn't even, so you can't back air it because he can change his angle. So the best thing you could do is neutral air because it covers the most space, but then the fucking barrel hits you. Hit and would Thank God for that platform. If that platform wasn't there and it didn't make this fucking Mickey Mouse hidden object, <laughs> this this uh, this secret to let people know that Sora would be in the game in 20 years. Oh, we found the VOD. Okay, hold on. Vic and he buy. Hold on. Yeah, motherfucker. Where is it? Where is it? Young Coney. Jesus. Uh. What? Wasn't it four stocks? Must have been here. Aha! Okay, here we go. Let's see how much fun we have. Oh, the bites are out right now. I try, this is the most embarrassing thing on the planet. Yeah, you really can't, you really can't mess with that Watch, you do bite. Another bite. And I tried to do the, the dash cancel up smash. Look what happens. Whoops! I fell down. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Young Coney is attractive. I just look fucking... This looks like a Bogdanov. Why do I look like that? It looks chiseled. <laughs> look at the... Look at the... The cheekbones there. How do you look older? I don't... I think I'm fatter now. I'm softer. That's it. The bites are out right we now. got the yum yum. Let's go. Okay, here we go. Ready? Like neutral air. Right oh, by the way, that's Omni on the mic. Neutral air. Neutral air. Oh, I got hit. Okay, fine. Oh, this isn't the... Okay, never mind. This isn't the VOD. <laughs> Maybe it's multiple times in this set. Oh, wait. It happens here. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wait, it just happened there. You back throw. He's at 128. Okay, can't wait oh, the edge guard. Okay. Whoops, the edge guard is now over. The edge guard is over. Oh, I took more damage. Oh, cool. Oh, I thought he might go low. I had to predict which way he would go. Whoops. Okay, hold on. So let's find this out. 96. Oh, 96 to 128. Oh, wow. I took 13. He took 8. Interesting. He took eight. Well, maybe I'll kill him this time. Uh oh. Whoops. 109, 136. Uh, he took seven. I took 14. Really fun. And then I have to go low. One like on this video. <laughs> it was June. Would damage terrible. And even some oh, I took four. Oh, I did the math wrong. Kill. Shut up. Whatever. Votes. I took too much anyway. To I should. The point is, I should be taking damage at all. Okay. No diddy action. Watch some vods of me. Uh, I shouldn't take damage at all. Huh. I think it's fundamentally. I only hard fought one pit ever, and it was Armada, character and I got joint bad in a melee esque engine. Destroyed without just making their moves. Not it was awful. Meta Knight 3.0 was also very strong given these attributes. It's just.
Pitt was that match is also strong. on YouTube. His neutral had a lot of tools. that was a disaster. Was a I'd never fought dance, Pitt before. Which led into a powerful grab it was and bad. His down tilt had great knockback, was extremely disjointed, and popped up for a full combo. Fair was Ugh. quick, disjointed, and had low lag, making it great for zoning. And his arrows were one of the strongest projectiles in the game. Another remnant from Brawl, Arrow was a quick, spammable projectile that you could release immediately or hold, and then once released, Smash control fans the should not balance based on the games. where you moved your control stick. This is so powerful in a melee-esque engine Unbelievable. where recoveries Look are at this slow. motherfucker! In Brawl, it didn't really matter if you took an arrow while recovering, but in PM, it could potentially lead to a gimp and a stock. Pitt's punish game was amazing. After getting a pop-up, it's so weird seeing these videos throw, now. Pitt could kill you from. Any Why is he side forward airing like down that? Up air would send you up if you held in, and I actually had a secret weapon. And I was gonna play to the Pitt, top. and when you held at the out, very he end of PM, because Wario was pissing me off, so Even I was working on a secondary you in, punish, in the you know amazing due to disjoint, net play. Edge guarding was very hard to deal with, but I had to do it in secret. Probably the most utility of any because our region didn't have a pit. You could angle it to catch even the trickiest of recovery mix-ups. And you weren't edge guarding him consistently either. Insane. Glide and multi jumps would allow for safe and easy travel back to the stage. One if day. If you want to see some 3.0 pit, I recommend checking out some Armada. Can't forget about the king, though. Worst character in Smash. Well. 3.0 Mewtwo is Second was worst character in Smash history. He was bro. so strong. Mewtwo's giant tail. More that annoying than Meta. The no. More often than not in Melee, Third. Was not a <laughs> Third worst. Hurt box and neutral. Allowing it to be used primarily. Bananas one, stuff. Meta Knight's two. Its length was this guy's also three. increased. You thought Marth up tilt was good? Try this. It Look at the, the up tilt! Platforms. Like, what What the hell? All of his aerials were buff, which oh alone wouldn't have God. done much. But they added two neat little tools hover and teleport. Hover was an omnidirectional movement mechanic that allows Mewtwo to mix up every aspect of his game, complete with hover canceling. Think, think 2D Peach Float. Teleport was buffed from melee to allow him to act out of it and could travel through solid parts of the stage, which made it extremely easy to edge hog from close to center of the stage. And because he could act out of teleport, and the only condition was not being able to teleport again, he could hover. This means Mewtwo could teleport, oh hover cancel God. some safe pressure, and then be Why does he have a fly? A I think he can do that, that in Pokemon, play. right? From mid screen. I think play. Mewtwo is like Mewtwo's God, punish right? Game was up there with in the Pokemon terms? His combo game from Melee was given an incredible buff from his tail increase in hover cancel. I went to one Xanadu, Emu Killer, and other Tri-State people were there, and he beat my ass with Mewtwo so bad I never went again. Smart choice. Cool. Hover cancel up airs and up Save your money. Incredible sharking and combo extension. Wait for Fair them to fix it. From melee carried over. Then teleport and hover extended every single aerial string, making DI out a What a fucking game. Mewtwo could do dirty combos with hover strings. He also had He's a kill hitting throw. you with his tail. So Oh yeah, he had a kill throw too. Tools that exist in melee. Yeah. You can't just shield against him either. Buffs, such as side B confusion <laughs> and down B disable. Oh my down God. B now worked regardless of the direction your opponent was uh. facing, and side B was buffed into a much larger grab that correctly reflected projectiles. Quite enough. Mewtwo's recovery was near. You know what's so weird? Uh, so back in PM, I played uh, Rishi and Lot a lot because we were all in the same region. Um, I am. I, I am I have never beaten Rishi. I have never beaten Smash God. I beat him in Brawl, but he was like very young on Meta Knight. I have never beaten Smash God. I have never lost to Lod. Isn't that weird? I'm like 4-0 with Lod, and I'm 0-4 with Smash God. I don't get it. Mewtwo's recovery was near on It Edge was Garden very Ball. bizarre. Yeah, we played just a bunch. Really hard to hit. Lod somebody. also played Peach though. Yeah, I don't think Peach was great. She was okay. But uh, I think Wario Peach was pretty bad. With two omnidirectional recovery reasons. Smash got played Marth and Mewtwo, incredibly which strong was very patch, tough. Mewtwo would have been able to dominate off stage. Very bizarre. E plus. However, his edge guarding came through less due to the strength of other recoveries. Mewtwo's teleport also had no landing lag. That's right. He Play was also makes a impossible to Yeah, watch but like Lod plays kind of slow and defensive, your ankles 15 times which is though. usually what if I'm bad against. You want to see against, some good Mewtwo play? Because I just fight Mimu people. Killer, Frozen, or Smash God. Also, funny story. Mewtwo King wanted him to have teleport after hitting someone. So imagine Mewtwo with turbo <laughs> and teleport combos. Good idea, man. No bias there. No, that's good. <laughs> as good as these characters are, they had weaknesses. I did not know Diddy that. Kong, that's very for funny. Example, had his greatest strength also be his greatest weakness. After playing Rishi week after week after week. He developed an extremely strong item game versus Diddy Kong and was able to effectively use it against me. <laughs> Lucas and Diddy were semi-fast. M2K is such a Chad. It's so annoying to deal with. Man.
he he didn't want Meta Knight banned in Brawl, not because like it would hurt the competitive integrity of the game or whatever. He was like, I just put a lot of time into Meta Knight. <laughs> Yeah, but, like, so did other people. Other people try... Which kind of makes them easy to body with anyone on the combo game. Chad. Mewtwo's teleport while strong could be read in advance with lingering hitboxes. He's like, I wouldn't have fun if Meta Knight was banned. Was it's he like, okay, the, the world isn't having fun really now. Really off the top and sides, making matchups like Wolf and Falcon weird Ugh. for him. And I think that's kind of cool. All that said, the nerfs that came for these characters were quick and deserved. Dude, Pit got gutted. Right? Why does everybody use this song? What is this song? Is this Persona? Let's go Hyper Flame. <laughs> His teeth. Ugh. Persona 5. Okay. Persona Champing. <laughs> I love Seagull, bro. He's a dad now. Seagull's a dad now. That's my guy. Good for him. Dude, I didn't think Seagull would be able to, like, not play Smash. Because he played Smash for so long. But I haven't heard from him or heard of him in so long. I really think he just totally pivoted out. Which is insane. I hope he's doing well. Isn't he also a teacher? Yeah, I think he's a chemistry teacher. He was at Xanadu a few weeks ago. Good for him. I haven't seen him, like, actually play. But good for him. Oh, Frozen still plays? I do think this was an extremely fun version. Without this version, more balanced versions extremely of Project M fun. couldn't have existed. We wouldn't have known the well. upper limits of competitive Smash Bros. And quite frankly, most versions of competitive Smash are broken. We just all happen to love and enjoy this broken mess because we made and participated in it. Coney, how much for you to play all the way through Persona 5? It would be a lot of money. Unironically. Five digits. I'm not kidding. Maybe six. Because it's so long. Would I have to do it on stream? Wait, wait, wait. If it's on stream, maybe six digits. Six digits is insane? No. No. You know how long that fucking game is? Maybe six digits on stream. You wouldn't do it for 99k? <laughs> You know what? Maybe I'll give you a sweetheart deal. Maybe. If we could have future deals in the future, perhaps. If I don't have to play it on stream, five digits. Low five digits. Low five digits. I'm, a chef, chef I'm busy, dude. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> There's a, you can also react to Armada clips. I have an Armada clip that I've reacted to pretty recently that uh, got quite a reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly maybe. I never realized he's wearing a Mario Kart Wii shirt. Yeah. Good for pink. Oh, I didn't know Emu Killer was married. Let's go. That's it? Aww. Oh. Got it. Yeah. So this is from Junebug, good friend of mine in real life. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it. He makes a lot of, like, video essay stuff and, and other stuff on things we love Junebug here how much would you have to be paid to watch a watch a playthrough of persona 5 on stream uh that would be worse if i can't actually play that's way worse oh my god hold on how long to beat persona 5 dude no this is insane this is fucking insane Unbelievable. Does anyone have a video like this of Brawl Minus? No, no, but I do have a story about Brawl Minus that I always forget to tell. 
I don't even know if it I don't know if it makes sense out of nowhere. I don't even know if it if it makes sense out of nowhere. I uh, we've heard the Luigi story. No, this is I'll make it really short. Basically, I went to the Midwest and I was like a very good Brawl Minus player, right? And me and TK won Brawl Minus doubles easily. And I uh and and we start up singles and I'm the first seed and I'm projected to win. And I get all the way to winners finals. And there's a guy that plays DDD, I think. It was either DDD or DK. Uh, I destroy him. I fuck him up with Luigi. It's gross. Like, blow him up. And it's because Luigi is just very good. So I beat him, and he's like, you know what? That matchup's terrible, but I got something for you next time we play. And I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, I got something. You're gonna, you wait till you see this shit, bro. Because, you know, Brawl Minus had a bunch of weird, janky shit. It had a bunch of weird stuff. And he's, like, getting serious. He really thinks he has something here. He's my friend, so it's like, it's a little bit of, you know... Weird, it's like rivalry shit talk kind of thing. But he's very convinced that he's going to fuck me up. He's like, yeah, dude, I got something for that next round. I got something. And so he beats the next person handily and because we're the top two seeds no matter what. And he locks in Olimar. And I'm like, what? Olimar was not good in Brawl Minus. Locks in Olimar. <laughs> and he starts doing Olimar pluck. I don't know. He d it's it's pluck in the air. So you're not getting Pikmin. Olimar has a thing where if you jump in the air and do pluck, it's this huge hitbox around him. And it, like, hits you from any direction. And he's like, like, this is like, you know, this is the thing that will solve the problem. This will destroy Luigi. Is, you know, if I do this big pluck in the air, it's going to knock it back. It didn't do anything. I beat him even harder. And I won the tournament. I don't know why he th that was like, he really thought that that was going to be the Luigi antidote. And I just chopped it. I just forward aired him. <laughs> After game one, he immediately, he immediately switched back to either DK or Donkey. And that was it. <laughs> That's all it was. I don't know what he was thinking. That did nothing. He really put some heat behind that. Tony, do you remember any sets on the day <laughs> the stream just kept spamming this clip? No. Have you guys seen this clip? This is a famous clip. This is called Fat Whopping Dick Dick. <laughs> dick Dick like the animal. <laughs> Where does he go? There's no sound. Hold on. If I search fat whopping dick dick, it will come up, right? Oh, it is an animal. Dick dick is an animal. <laughs> I searched for it. There, some of your favorite giffy cats. <laughs> There's got to be a clip somewhere, right? Hold on. I think it's called the canine salty sprint. I think that's what they ended up calling it. Yep. Oh, wait, that's make a gif. Never mind. Is this it? Thank you, Stardust Light. Bless you. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, I thought that was it. <laughs> that spring! <laughs> Shit! Oh! Runs into the darkness. Where did he go? Where did he go? Have you ever been so mad in your life? Have you ever been this mad? You know what the best part of this is? You ne I, I never noticed him until somebody pointed him out. Watch this guy. <laughs> You're so focused on K9. This guy is hilarious. Look at the blue shirt guy. Watch him. What is he doing? What is he? 
It's like a, it's an NPC animation. What happened? Beautiful time. Oh, God. What a time to be alive, dude. He's all of Twitch chat. <laughs> Everybody, this is a time before Twitch chat. For the most part. Oh, man. What a time to be alive. One day, VGBC just kept playing it. Yeah, VG just kept running memes into the ground. He does come back eventually. <laughs> like, where did he go? Yeah, he's like punching the wall out there. Oh, man. Look at how quiet it is, by the way. This is a vibe. I guess they probably still have it at locals. Like, when the tournament runs until 1 a.m. and there's only six people in that bitch at the end to find out the winner. Crazy. I miss these times. I'm sure they still exist. Go to your locals. Man. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? You ready? Wait, what time is it? Because I got to do Trivial Pursuit at 10. All right, it's 8.30. New Tier Zoo! Yay! Hooray! Add this is an emote. For what? Why? What does this do? We already have the running guy. Right? What if somebody types the word horse? It's so small. Can you even see it? it means we got to get rid of one. Hmm. We don't use loads of money. We just use Bogdanovs for that. There, horse. Oh yeah, I forgot to I forgot to do the whole spiel. This is Tier Zoo. Tier Zoo makes great movies. We've watched a bunch. Dude, this top ten dumbest family feud fails has been on my watch later for literally like a year. <laughs> it's so stupid. Please watch it. Uh, maybe our claws op. We love Tier Zoo here. Let's find out. Great guy, by the way. Met him in real life. Awesome. Watch the Mario Bros. vid. No. When specking it's your so character, long. it's important to choose equipment that integrates well with your chosen build's combat style and minimizes its inherent vulnerabilities. Do talents count as Weapons claws? Weapons like horns and fangs are capable of inflicting massive damage, but using them in battle can leave a player vulnerable to counterattacks, and their value is mostly limited to 1v1 situations. Balancing the risk and damage potential of launching an attack Ugh. is a key strategic consideration. Balancing the... That bro eating sand. Watch him. Risk and damage potential. Oh, oh, no. He's going to get sick. Potential of launching an attack is a key strategic consideration when equipping any type of weapon. So today we'll Ugh. discuss one that comes as a standard feature on many of the most viable builds in the game. Claws. I never made the connection that crab claws are like... Like, like these are claws. Like pinching claws and scratching claws are, are both claws. Claws are versatile, huh. close-range weapons that can be used for offense or defense without sacrificing much in terms of mobility. They do require the user to get somewhat close to an enemy to launch an attack. I think a kangaroo attack, might be the scariest the animal you can see for the first time. slashing and swiping claw strikes, these tend to be one of the safest attack options a player has access to. Unlike some other weapons, claws can Hippo? usually be regenerated if damaged, allowing them to be Elephant? used freely no. with minimal risk. Claws can be used against multiple enemies at once if the build has decent mobility, making them an excellent choice for generalists and Oh, I love alike. raccoons. Look how they smart they are. Making them an excellent choice for I only love smart animals. Pigs and raccoons only. Look at that motherfucker. What a stat line. Generalists and tanks alike. I love him. They can also be specialized into a variety of secondary perks that allow the user to climb, dig, or run at extreme speeds without slipping. Bro, I was walking my dog the other day, and I saw a squirrel climb up a house. Didn't know they could do that. It, it, I thought it could only climb up trees. Liar? No, I t it's true. He climbed up, like, a brick wall. I didn't know they could do that. Uh, news to me. 
Claws can be optimized for piercing, slashing, Tony, have you ever or seen crushing a crab damage, jump? depending Didn't on which they basic had the joints for that. into. <laughs> While some members of the arthropod faction Ew. have tiny hooked claws that are used for the mobility perks alone, Ew, kind of fancy. There's equipped pincher type <laughs> tiny hooked claws. He's got like leg warmers. That's kind of cute. Claws. What are those for, you think? That are used for the mobility perks mm, alone. Kind of cool. Others equip pincher type claws called Leave Kile that fish alone. That can inflict massive crushing damage. The size of Kile relative to the user's body varies between build classes. But they can be used in combat even on the smaller end due to the additional perk of being able to immobilize opponents. Crustacean builds like crabs and lobsters can use claws to crush or dismember prey. Oh my prey, god! Oh my a god! Devastating attack oh my god! Can, though it can be fairly easily dodged by oh. more mobile players. Scorpions can use their claws to inflict knockback or as a physical barrier to keep an enemy away from their vitals. But they also enable them to use an extremely powerful grappling combination. Move. Oh no. While an enemy is immobilized in their claws, scorpions use their flexible stingers to inflict massive piercing and venom damage. Oh, that's fucked up. This attack He's is just more effective than crushing Ooh. alone, but the trade-off between physical power Dude, and the, venom potency... He's going crazy on the editing here. Holy shit. ...means that some scorpions are still weak against builds that can deflect or withstand their stings. Instead of modifying entire limbs into crushing well, pinchers, in many stuff? tetrapod Jeez. builds can equip individual claws to each digit and then use them to inflict piercing or slashing damage. Okay, so gorilla versus bear. Are you guys team bear? I feel like most people are team bear, right? I'm I'm gorilla champ. I'm the gorilla champ. But everybody's like, oh, the bear. Bear wins easy. Bear, bear, bear. I'm a gorilla guy. The bear is double the weight with knives for fingers. Yeah, but the gorilla is smart and has thumbs. The gorilla is intelligent. You know what else the gorilla has? Empathy. And grab the claw. The gorilla is going to grab the claw and then rip them off one by one, individually. The gorilla has a family to protect. That's true. The bears kind of do, and they know to protect their young... But I, th I think the gorilla is, is of a higher consciousness. Reptile what if and the bear bites off his thumbs? Nope. Claws, usually happen. equip them to all four limbs, using Can't them for that. combat as well as their broad array of secondary functions. Tetrapod builds in earlier... Do gorillas have claws? Do they have fingernails? Expansions experimented with a variety of claw specializations, with Therizinosaurus dumping the most evolution points into the trade of any build in history. These giant curved claws were primarily used to hook and pull vegetation in order to access the best loot. Ugh. But they served the secondary function of being used to attack or Jeez. intimidate predators in a similar strategy to that of anteaters in the current meta. Megatherium is another example of a build that went all in on claws. But theirs were specialized oh to withstand the impacts of intense digging, and thus were much more powerful in combat. Smilodon? <laughs> What a cute name! Specialized that's with adorable. That sounds like a Pokemon. Digging. I love Smilodon. Oh, it's like a it's like a tiger. Okay, I love that, dude. I feel like a giant claws, sloth. But theirs were. This would be the this would be the worst thing to bring back now. Thank God this animal isn't alive anymore. Specialized to withstand the impacts of intense digging. A fucking oh, smilodons are saber tooth in okay. combat as a result. Dude, a giant Although sloth. Although megatherium were large enough to awful. repel most enemies using intimidation alone, oh succeeding God. in the meta where smilodon were the apex predators. No, meant get that out of their there! Claws needed to be ready for serious action when necessary. While Thenozerosaurus and megatherium are no longer playable builds, the basic tetrapod claw specializations that they pioneered are still influential in today's meta. Aww. While some mammal variants spec into nails or hooves instead. Fingernails. God. Gross. Horse legs look like that? That looks like my Roller Champions character. <laughs> it's got like the big ass knees. <laughs> Dead. Claws are still an that. extremely common limb equipment choice and are used you know for I mean? everything from climbing and foraging to attacking enemies. Digging is a common specialization for mammal players, with builds like the armadillo and anteater leveraging their claws for? to access hard-to-reach resources. 
At the extreme end of this ability, oh, moles use their long, thick claws and sensory modifications to complete their entire playthroughs in subterranean maps, oh, so where they cute. can farm out invertebrate players for XP. Other mammal builds spec into lighter claws to preserve dexterity and <laughs> use them more in a gen- Other mammal builds- Bro, what? That can't be comfy. Dude is actually holding on like that? Who got this shot? This is the shot of the year. What an amazing video to show. I would not believe you if you told me this happened. Spec into lighter claws to preserve That's dexterity amazing. and use them more in a generalist fashion. But this means they can only inflict minor scratch damage in combat There's situations. So little. The cloven hooves of even toed ungulate builds like pigs and deer technically are claws as well, which add cutting edges to already powerful limbs and increase the damage <laughs> inflicted by kicks. Mammals in the carnivora faction. I don't know why deer fighting is so funny to me. Increase the damage. In they're just, they're just, it looks like it doesn't do anything. Could a deer, how, how much do deer hurt? I thought they had like the mule kick, right? That's where the real damage is. By kicks. Mammals in the carnivora faction all have claws, but only yeah, it's some like the are back fully kick, dependent right? on them to take down enemies. Felids have extremely sharp claws that retract when not in use, Ugh. conserving their durability and allowing them to move silently when preparing to ambush an opponent. These claws Thanks, provide Andy. additional traction and therefore movement speed when extended, but more importantly, they greatly increase both the damage and grappling capability of these felids. <laughs> this grappling oh can be God. used in a deadly combination where oh, claws don't show mobilize that. No, cut it, cut it, cut it. Which opens I don't want to see that. To areas for the map that other carnivore builds can't reach. Come on. With some of the best speed and power stats in the game, felids are absolute Damn. killing machines. Cats are kind of smart. Decimate bird and mammal player bases. For builds which lack the ability to retract their claws, the repeated contact with the ground <laughs> causes them to become dull and less useful for climbing or combat. Aww. But they do still provide solid mobility bonuses. Since bird forelimbs are modified into wings. Most avian builds can only Dude. equip functional claws to their feet. Hoatsons have the unique. Oh my Most god! Avian builds can only equip. Fun oh my god! There's nothing worse. This is the most he probably could have shown of this video, because he's definitely gonna get pulled through. Oh god! He got out. Okay, thank god. <laughs> I was going to say, if he pulls him in, oh my god. This is what a bear does to the gorilla. No, no. This is the gorilla, actually. That's the gorilla and that's the bear. The bear tried to swipe and the gorilla said, stop! And he grabbed his claw. Gorilla wins. Functional claws to their feet. Hoatsons have the unique ability Aww. to equip claws to their forelimbs Aww. that are used for climbing, oh. but this ability is shed <laughs> at like higher that. levels in favor of flight, and all other birds are restricted to hind limb claws only. While this may seem like a limitation, members of the raptor faction use their claws and wings in conjunction to carry out some of the deadliest ambush attacks in the game. Their absolutely busted sensory abilities and mobility stats allow them to attack Not before smart, an though. opponent can even detect Kinda their dumb. presence, impaling them with sharp talons before Not a very they have smart time to react and counterattack. However, raptor legs are relatively short and their wings can't deal much damage in their own right, which limits their ability to counterattack when an enemy launches an attack on the ground or from behind. In a major departure from the typical avian playstyle, <laughs> some birds dump evolution points into their legs and feet at the. Ex <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. Just wanted to know if my read was was good on that. I, I kind of had a had a read on that one. I wasn't sure. Largest eyeballs. Yeah, they could perceive. Ooh, ostrich meat is the healthiest meat you can eat while low in fat and cholesterol. Ostrich meat is red meat? Huh. They'll peck your head clean off. No, they won't. That doesn't even look that sharp. Departure from the typical avian playstyle, some birds dump evolution points into their <laughs> They're legs gross. and feet. Look at the skin! Oh my god, he's just a tendril. Ah, I hate these things, dude. Look at that. So fleshy. Ugh. The expense of their flight ability. This strategy hinges on having a high enough run Look speed to evade <laughs> most enemies, 
and enough power in their legs to disembowel enemies with dagger-like claws. Right, you guys didn't get to see the. You guys didn't get to see the, the the mouth on the ostrich. That was pretty good. Hold on. Evade at the expense <laughs> of their flight ability. This strategy hinges on having a high enough run speed to evade most enemies. That's pretty funny. I like that. And enough Good power in their legs to we disembowel love tears, enemies with dagger-like claws when challenged. Oh! Both types of avian builds can be viable against certain opponents, but their inability to inflict much damage with their wings leaves them vulnerable to rushdown and more powerful builds, and underscores the benefits of having claws equipped to all four limbs. Claws are an excellent weapon choice for players with the flexibility and limb lengths needed to maximize their threat but range. But are they OP? But even on less mobile builds, they're still well worth the investment. These versatile weapons are at their best when they're used either as a safe, non-committal attack to chip away at an opponent, not or as part the question. of a grappling combination. Oh my god, look at that decay! I just dropped 50! What the fuck? Oh my god, it just dropped 9 while I was talking! What the fuck? Help! Hey, guys, if you have if you have a Twitch Prime, please help! Please help! It's free! It's free! Help! Someone help! Nation move that anchors oh an opponent God. in place, while additional damage is inflicted by either teeth or stingers. Dying As in real time. As users, felids are definitely OP. Oh my god. As they I just prime. You don't have to pay money. To just prime it, please. Highly specialized claws. Oh, So don't geez. expect to immediately skyrocket up the tier list the moment you spec <laughs> into the claws shit. trait, as the felid class may be a bit of an outlier. Thank However, you. claws Thank are you. still a valuable you, addition to almost Thank any you, build Thank that you, can super. equip them, Thank you, and cost very little oh. in terms of evolution points, considering how many new Jeez. options and strategies they can add to a character. Oh. On the subject of claws, you may have noticed that I didn't discuss one of the game's most famous claws in this video. On that note, I have a bit of an announcement. I've oh. been secretly working on something big. My own 3D animation studio. I want to make one of the best educational wildlife shows ever, and finally answer the types of questions that I constantly get asked. Who would win? Who would win in a fight between... Well, I mean, take your pick. So far, I've been limited in Dude. what I've been able to show on this Dude. channel. What was I just talking meet, about? And are separated by either distance or time. Okay. Now we wait. Maybe they'll make an animation. Through the magic of 3D animation, I want to bring these confrontations to life for all of you it's to witness. It's behind a paywall? The first episode will pit one of history's most lethal claws against- I think I've asked him this question before. <laughs> I'm just going to keep asking him until he says gorilla. One of prehistory's most deadly fangs. I've been- I've asked him that before. <laughs> ...working super hard, and although the first episode isn't quite ready, it'll be premiering on Nebula Super- I feel like I had before, yeah. <laughs> I'll delete it. <laughs> He's gonna be like, why does Cody keep sending me that question at once a year? ...and I don't want you to miss it. Many of you know by now that Tears has been a longtime <laughs> partner of Nebula, a creator-owned streaming service whose mission is to empower creators to make high-budget content that they couldn't otherwise. Again with this shit. Well, I'm no exception, and I'm really sure... I don't listen until I get the answer I want. Frankly. Mm. If he says bear, you tweet again. I, mean, I don't know how he could get it so wrong. Maybe he specializes in marine biology. I don't know. Who can say? This is Tearzu, by the way. Said it before. Great channel. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm not. I'm not watching. Oh my god, it's from 2017. I'm not gonna watch this whole thing because they 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 stretch it out too much. They stretch it out way too much. For this list, as number ten, Papa Bear. There are many different types of bear out there. Polar, grizzly. <laughs> Panda, but I already or not, hate this. Papa Bear is not an official type. For this round. Oh yeah, he did answer this. I remember seeing this. That's what this is. Right, that's what the I remember this. Who would win? And then I yeah, I remember this. Right. I forgot. Yeah. He was using his platform irresponsibly. Can't believe he would do that. Host Richard Dawson asks the contestants to name a type of bear. 
not one. Ah, and, and here he is answer. now. Here he is now. Wrong again. Well, 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 Tirzu, welcome to the stream. You're in my arena now, okay? And in this stream, the gorillas win. You try to swipe at the gorilla, and the gorilla grabs the claw. And ri In fact, I think I even said that on the tweet. Hold on. Wait a minute. Yep, yep. Uh -oh, they got suspended. This is your goat? Anybody fighting for bears tweeted some slurs or some shit, and now they're gone. Tried to swipe? Grab it. Even if you do win the fight, you still, you, you're the moral loser. You know what I mean? Like, we, we still have the, the moral high ground. We are of higher being. And that's true. I don't know if Tirzu knows that gorillas are actually four to nine times as strong as a normal human. Not sure if he knows that. I'm in an alternate universe, yeah. I don't know what bears you've seen, but gorillas are big, bro. Gorillas are, like, really big. So, you know. Actually, I wonder if I have Battle Beast Simulator. <laughs> oh my god, I still have it installed. Well, well, well. <laughs> we can settle this right now. Quickly, quickly. Well, well, well. I, dude, this is still one of my favorite videos I've ever made. I Wait, I might be able to do it with a new processor. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, I once did a video on this of could a, could a billion lions beat every Pokemon, and I just made Pokemon out of actual animals. <laughs> and it was very fun. I loved that video. I thought that was one of the best ideas I've ever had. Maybe I can do it again with my new processor. Can't see your response because of 30-second ad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would tell you to sub, but I just stole your content. So, you know, that's my payment, I guess. I'll just assume you agreed with me. <laughs> okay. All right, hold on. Bear? Black bear. There is no brown bear. You have to have a black bear. Best I can do. And? Uh gorilla oh wait no this is on a different team bear gorilla start who wins <laughs> come on gorilla boom 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 swing the arms bro it's over it's over gorilla clears easily gorilla clears with the greatest of ease do a polar bear now you want to change the bear Best of five? Hold on. Is mute? Oh, hold on. Turn it up. Turn that shit up, bro. Okay. You want a polar bear? Hold on. All right. Polar bear versus gorilla. Here we go. Oh, no. Swing! Boom, 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 boom. Oh, wait. Got him in the back. Heads off. Dude, decapitated him. Send your strongest bear. It will not be enough. Monkey wins. You can't win. All right, I'm Team Gorilla. <laughs> I told you. Do two bears. Okay, how about two bears together? You get black bear and polar bear. Ebony and ivory, together at last. Go. Surely you could defeat the gorilla now. <laughs> you can't. He's too strong. He's so strong. Oh, my God. Oh my god. <laughs> oh but damn Cody was right. Gorillas are extremely intelligent in battle. Yeah. Hold on. How many bears would it take? D damn it, I keep it's it's monitor capture, so it keeps doing that. How many bears do you think it would take to defeat one gorilla? I'll add one more black bear. Surely he can't defeat three, right? No way he defeats three bears. He's down. He's down. The polar bear did lose a leg, though. The polar bear lost the leg in a 1v3. There, finally, bears win. But what if the gorilla got 
Is there a chimpanzee? <laughs> I really wanted to add Diddy Kong. Wait, is there a rhino? Yeah, Rambi. Okay. Now it's DK and Rambi. <laughs> Go. Against the three bears. That rhino's just gonna kill everybody, right? <laughs> the rhino's a tank while the gorilla goes insane. Jesus Christ! Look at him go! Yeah, I'm here with the new Tier Zoo platform. This is the one he was talking about at the end of the last video. This is actually the most scientifically accurate battle simulator we have. Okay, how, wait. So, one of the things that I really tried to do back in the day was do the billion lions. I don't, I want to see how many I can put down. The game got all laggy at about 100. I don't need to do a billion. If I could, I wanted to just do like a thousand. <laughs> My processor's doing great, by the way. Shit is being processed. Okay. I'll do 500 lions. Okay, I have 516 lions against one Dragonite. Okay. How about that? Now, keep in mind, there. Are, I think it's like 500 to every Pokemon, right? You at least have 500. And a gorilla? No, the gorilla would clear. Okay, fine. I'll add a gorilla. This is your... This is primate. <laughs> Go. Oh, God! <laughs> yeah, this is what happened uh, when I tried. Top of the line. <laughs> Top of the line processor, by the way. D the gorilla's dead. Get him, boys! I... I think the dragon's losing. Uh, they're creating a ladder. He can't fly away now. Why isn't the dragon flying? He can't. He's got too many lions hanging on. Look at them go. Oh, the, the long lion. Computer, are you okay? Are you okay over there? Oh, this, are these dead lions? I can't tell if they're dead or if they're... Maybe they're sleeping. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, the dragon definitely has the advantage here. But surely... There are some alive lions here. No, where did they go? Are the lions eating each other? Okay. 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 I... Draw. We'll call that a draw. Look at this shot. This is intimidating. If there's over one million lions per Pokemon, yeah. This is terrifying. He's awaiting you. All right, we're going to try a movie. And I don't know how it's going to go. But it's a new channel. Somebody recommended it. And it's basketball posting. This is Jimmy High Roller when trash talking goes horribly wrong. <laughs> Bro, look at that. 1.5 million views. I don't know if it's Jimmy or I don't know how to say it, but... This, jo this joint went viral, so... 
Ooh. This clip will go down in the Basketball Trash Talking Hall of Fame. Not because Devin Booker's trash talking worked, not because he actually backed it up or anything, but because of the absolute obliteration that was to follow. Devin Booker was that did trash not know talk? it at the time, but this is where it all ended. A video taken moments before disaster. Was that trash talk? Okay. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare. I bet it is. I know it is. I'm positive it is. Wait. Most replayed. That's so sad. <laughs> Think about the sponsors. The biggest playoff basketball monstrosity I've ever seen in my entire life. I didn't believe him. So I had to tune into the game myself. <laughs> and sure enough, there it was. <laughs> oh my God. Oh boy. In what world is this even possible? A record-breaking 64-win Suns team, <laughs> fully healthy, is getting dog-walked in a Game 7 with their season on the line. Uh, okay, well, I wasn't able to watch the first half, so I'm assuming those measly 27 points had to have come from oh, Chris Paul no. and Devin Booker. I mean, there's no way they just didn't score. Oh, God. So, after all that trash talking, all that hooping and hollering, after going up 2-0 in the series, this was the best the Suns had to offer? A couple weeks ago, I well, made a video Well, they did end 123-90. That was a little bit closer. Kevin Durant had one of the worst playoff meltdowns in recent history. But, uh, we got a new contender. Of all the players in this year's playoffs, Chris Paul had possibly more to prove than anyone else. After a career of bad luck and, quite frankly, Ooh. bad playoff performances, NBA fans were eager to see if he could lead his team to the NBA Finals again and redeem himself for their collapse last season against the Bucks. But at this those point, cool we should have known better. I like Fool those. me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Lose an NBA record seven consecutive Game 7s and shame on everyone. Why am I even watching? Bro, what kind of activation is this? Conference semifinals presented by Clorox? <laughs> Why Clorox? What the fuck? <laughs> Why? What kind of brand is... That's... All right. I... But it's one thing for Chris Paul to fall apart in a game seven. For one reason or another, he's been doing it his entire career. But the entire Suns roster, how does the one seed the best regular season team in the everywhere. NBA fall apart this badly with their season Dude, on the coin line. Dude, coin bases everywhere. In the first That's half of crazy. Game 7 against the Mavericks, the Suns' starting five combined for 15 points on 29 shots. Luka Doncic, by himself, <laughs> had 27 points on 12 shots. Look how happy he is to be here. Look at my boy Luka. They really couldn't get a better picture? That's insane. There had to have been a better one. Chris Paul and Devin Booker combined for a whopping three points in the first half. Three points. Even <laughs> worse, those three points came from the foul line. Neither of them. Wow, they needed five guys. Shot. By the end of the wow, game, wow, you really need five people. Up just wow, seven points in 143 minutes on the court. Luca put up 35 oh. points in just 30 minutes. I don't think I've ever seen an NBA game in my entire life that was over halfway through the second quarter. The only reason why Luka didn't drop a 50-point triple-double on these boys was because the man was on the bench by the third quarter, prepping for the Warriors in the next round. In this series featuring the Suns and the Mavericks, Luka had more points than pure scorer Devin Booker, had more assists than league-leading assist man Chris Paul, had more rebounds than 7 So this is DeAndre just a Jordan, Luka and Doncic. And more steals than Defensive Player of the Year runner-up, Mikel Bridges. The man beat the Suns so bad, the this franchise is really had to just... write an apology letter to their fans. <laughs> Devin Booker spent the 2022 NBA season building a apology letter. Today is a new day for Phoenix Suns fans. The work on the next season is already underway. Oh my god. That's so sad. With greater success and expectation comes deeper disappointment. Fuck. Why can't you just be like, man, yeah, we lost. Oh well. 
Somebody's gonna lose in this shit, right? To their fans. Apologize. The 2022 NBA season, building a solid MVP campaign, <sighs> having the best season of his career. And yet, somehow, when it mattered most, Booker put together the worst playoff game of his entire career. The man didn't even put up a fight. It's like there's no fire in him. He's not rising up in these big games. And this big game mentality is what separates guys like Luka and Giannis from others. Sure, these guys are vastly more talented than their peers, and that definitely helps. But just as valuable as their skill set and physical tools is their will to win. Luka Doncic would rather die trying than lose a game seven like this. I just, th I thought this was about trash talk. The man won't back down to anyone, and he has the game to back How do we get up. to this video? I mean, seriously, is there anything better in sports than a superstar who plays better under pressure? A player that can take the trash talk, spit it right back, and make you regret it. Lucas said it best after their game five loss against the Suns. Do you know how confident you have to be to say this out loud after going down 2-3 We the love playoffs? this guy, bro. This killer mentality, almost like a basketball hitman, taking names and seeking revenge, is something you're either born with or you aren't. Luca's Players strongest like soldier. Luka, Giannis, Jimmy Butler, John ja Morant are all cut from the same cloth as guys like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and Larry Bird. There is no end to what they will do to win. It's almost psychotic at times. Not every night will be some monumental. They're tryhards, bro. But you can guarantee that they'll go down swinging. We often. I would definitely be in the, in the NBA coasting, talented, getting my multi-million-dollar contract. Table, like I'm just here to have fun. On the table, while some players rise to the challenge and love every moment. Wow. Others shrink you guys under the really want to win, huh? These career-defining moments. It's intangible. You are too short. They're. That's literally not true. And immeasurable. We've heard of so many the thing about guys basketball players have that have been shorter than me. To underestimate I could do it. Who do have it. In the 90s, NBA players were legitimately scared to trash talk Michael Jordan. <laughs> I mean, they already knew that there was a slim chance he wasn't going to dismantle them. But at least if they kept quiet, Michael might just spare them from embarrassments in front of friends and family. Michael could Everybody's talk too, right? And wouldn't you know it, come game seven when the Mavericks I remember up, Michael actually Booker having some good shit talk. On the bench so, with not a I would shit talk somebody say, who was good at, really a good at basketball, but couldn't talk shit. Because you still Kobe win, Bryant's you know, the, the war of the brains, right? The you know? Cloth as the Chris Pauls of the NBA. You could show that you're smarter, that, at least, CP even if you can't beat them. point guards of all time. But if you're relying on him to close out a game with everything on the line, you might be in some trouble. Patrick Beverly has been on a Chris Paul slander Thanks, campaign Adam. for the last few days, and whether it's true or not, he spoke about how NBA teams aren't all that worried about facing Chris Paul. Damn. CP3, is he going to be a Hall of Fame? No question about it. Yeah. Right? No question about it. But? Do guys in the NBA go to sleep early the night before playing the Phoenix Suns? Hell no. <laughs> no. You mean as a team, or would you talk about Chris Paul individually? Chris Paul individually. Okay. Oh. No. I'm going to Steak 44 over there in Phoenix. I'm mm. going to have me a nice little wine, probably sweat it out, and uh, the pregame shoot around and get ready for Chris That's Paul. That's Steph Curry, I'm going, I'm going to bed at 8 o'clock. Professional hater. Mom, don't call me. My girl, don't call me. I don't, I'm, I'm locked in right now. It's, not, it's, it's, it's two different monsters. That's all. And although that's really rich coming from a guy who spent the last eight years getting spanked by Chris Paul, I think there's probably Yeesh. a lot of truth to what he's saying. This guy's Chris swinging Paul on at everybody. He doesn't have that hitman mentality that other great man. Have. And Devin Booker may not have it either. This whole Game 7 collapse, and even going back to last year's finals, reminded me of that clip from a couple years ago where Devin Booker was complaining about getting double teamed at an open gym. Instead of embracing the challenge, he became frustrated with it. Instead of <laughs> wow. working the to enhance his game, he complained about it. Some fans often say Bro. Devin Booker is the closest thing to Kobe Bryant in today's... In That's actually me, though. You sent two people to my lane, I'm bitching about yeah. it. I'm Don't sick. Get it twisted. To two of you to cover me. Wow. Where's my team? Was, was people double teaming you doing pickup? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And what you what you what do you think about? Like, Say you got to send another one. <laughs> straight up. Yeah, you got send another one, man. <laughs> straight up. Straight yeah. up. I don't care how talented a player is. If he doesn't have a cutthroat, get out of the way. I got this mentality to his game. He will only get so far. 
two superstars don't just happen to score three combined points only get so far two superstars don't just have oh that's like a dread to score okay. three combined points in the first half of their biggest game of the season it's one thing to get out to a slow start but this this is yeah i thought it was a banana a peel i was like wait what it, 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 like i had to look at it for a moments. second having a field day with somebody throw something in the crowd like to freeze up in big moments either you have it or you don't some players <laughs> lack it some Jeez. players are honing it and some players are made of it hope you all enjoy it and as always until next time and had nothing to do with the trash talk bro come on i saw one tiny little clip and it didn't even matter i don't even know the context of it come on i got clickbaited you know what though it was it was a well made video Pretty good movie, right? Not bad. They mentioned Trash Talk one time. They got me. Sounds like your YouTube titles. I watched all the way through. Helped his AVD, bro. It worked. I'll still drop a like. Sure. I did skip the ad, though. Take that. <laughs> Pretty okay. Not bad. Not terrible, right? Hold on, let me make sure that everybody's good at, uh, good for 10. Because we got to do some, what time is it? It's like, yeah, we got 50 minutes. Okay. Let me make sure everybody's good. Watch the entirety of ESPN's 30 for 30. <laughs> Watch this Chris Paul highlight. Hold on. Let me send a message. Make sure we're all good. Because I have to be on at 10. Or I'm going to get in trouble because I signed a contract. I don't want to get in trouble. Okay. Okay, do we like Chris Paul now? He was accepted to Harvard. He's the play for the Buffaloes in college. A second round pick and Paul gets a triple. Okay. Wait, he just made a three-pointer. Colorado over Harvard. He was accepted to Harvard. He's the play for the Buffaloes in college. A second round pick and Paul. We just, I just watched him make a three. Wait, what? <laughs> Huge three to cut the lead down to 42. <laughs> oh, okay. Play of the game. This is a title champ. Okay. <laughs> this is fucked up, though. That's fine. Dude, the crowd didn't even react. I guess it'd be more, it'd be worse if the crowd, like, super popped off here, right? Yo! <laughs> oh, man. I saw this also in the guy's thing. I, I figured this is just math posting, right? Three pointers have ruined basketball. This is just math, right? I heard people whining about uh, Steph Curry because that's all he does, right? It's salt, yeah. Did you see that somebody put LTG in the commentator tray? No, hold on. Link that. I haven't seen that. Send me that, please. That's all he can do. He's a one-dimensional player who's overrated. Yeah, but if he's good at it, dude, like, I don't think that's overrated. Like, if you are a specialist and you do one thing and that one thing puts up more points than anybody, like, you know? That's kind of crazy. <laughs> I wanted this. I wanted somebody to make this so bad. Look at that! You just sitting there blocking all day. Don't nobody want to deal with that. God damn! It's me. He's just like me. The dude has zero footsies. Absolutely no fucking skill. <laughs> what the fuck? This nigga is too easy, mo. Oh. Get the fuck out of my lobby with that corny ass shit, you sorry ass <laughs> clown. Can't consider no nigga good in this game. Why you think niggas pick this fucking goddamn character? Tell who was good about that. We know for a fact you got a micro dick. I'm not even gonna blacklist this nigga. I'm gonna run into him again off stream and I'm gonna beat the fuck out of him. Bitch ass motherfucker. Dude, there has to be a way to mod this in, right? There absolutely has to be a way to mod this in on, on Steam. 
I can't wait. Oh, my God. I'll pay him for it. I will pay him for it. To use his likeness. Sajam was saying how it could be modded. That is the best use of, of, of fucking Steam Workshop I've ever heard of. Insane. <laughs> okay, I have a video now. And I don't know if we're going to watch the whole thing. <laughs> but this has been sitting in my watch later for a while. Strictly on the title. That I've been, that I've been very curious about. <laughs> this is buying a PC with Dell. My journey into hell. <laughs> I, 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 had to, I had to know. I just wanted to know. It began six months ago. I've watched some of this guy's stuff, and uh, I don't really like his like cadence or like his voice because I feel like he has the same thing. But like this is a different type of video, so. Earlier this year, I decided to buy a new PC. He's changing it lately? Okay. I Again, I had to say this a million times. I don't hate anybody, because whenever I talk about fucking Scott the Waz, everybody gets all weird about it. He's a great content creator. It's just his, the way he talks. I began to struggle you with know? some heavier editing projects. I decided to go with Dell because A, I've been with them my whole Jesus. life, and B, I've never had any problems with them. I understand that this was a bad decision. That information cannot help me now. I should know. I don't know a great deal about. I didn't PCs, know Dell still was huge, by the way. If I had just slightly more knowledge, and so I am partially, well, mostly to blame for the nightmare that follows. I think it's because of like you know, parts looking up what kind corporate, of GPUs right? would work best. Yeah, with corporate, Premier, yeah. Went with 64 gigs of RAM and a top of the line Intel XPS processor. Jeez. It was more money than I'd ever spent on a PC, but if it made life easier, I'd consider it a good. Investments. One week later, they dominate normal PC buyers too. Is that true? I feel like that that market would have been eaten up by like. Well, no, I guess not. I was gonna say people like you know meta PCs or like uh, artisanal builds or whatever. Um, that could like, if if a if a PC builder is good at social media, right? But I guess people want the trust and reliability more than anything, because this shit could go bad. The machine arrives. It is big and heavy and has a metal handle. A metal handle? That's <laughs> serious. I am very excited. I boot up the PC and immediately notice something. Whereas my five-year-old machine could boot in about 10 seconds, this one is taking closer to two minutes. Odd. Problem the second. When setup begins, the PC cannot detect the wireless mouse or keyboard it came with. Very odd. I spent about an hour trying different configurations to make the keyboard and mouse connect. Well, that's what. Yeah, you got to pay for the first time setup. Fired, so I just you didn't my old splurge for the first time setup. Mouse. It's only two hundred dollars. Step two: connect my new PC to the internet. Only that was my job for a while, by the way. <laughs> detect my Wi-Fi. Doing that shit. I restart seven or eight times, having to repeat the same setup each time. I refresh my browser. I adjust my router settings. Nothing works. For a I stand router. back and stare at my new machine. It has no DVD Blu-ray drive, so without internet, it's just a giant piece of plastic that cost me thousands of euro. No, wait. This happened to me last night. Literally last night, because I made this new build. I made this new build and it the the LAN adapter wasn't working. You got to get the USB port. You got to put on USB and get the drivers and then install them. This literally happened to me last night. Skill Somewhere issue. Somewhere deep inside me, I feel a subtle, unsure emptiness open up, and through it, a small stream of anxiety. Bad computer user. Just use Ethernet. I did. I plugged it in. It didn't work. This out in the morning. You have to update the Next drivers. Next morning, I brew some coffee and turn back on my machine. Another two-minute boot up. Very, very odd. I spend the next hour digging through internet forums on my laptop hunched beside my new machine. After going down several rabbit holes that lead nowhere, I finally get a solid lead. The problem could be with my PCIe Wi-Fi card. If it's malfunctioning, that would explain why I cannot connect <laughs> to the internet or music. hook up my wireless devices. I go to systems information and... And... There is no PCIe <laughs> Wi-Fi card. It is not there. Oh God! I did not insert one into the machine. In the year of our Lord, they just forgot. 
there was shipped a state-of-the-art PC without functionality to connect to the internet. I feel that little hole well. inside me open wider, but now it's not just anxiety that's flowing it's not just anxiety that's flowing out, but shame. What kind of idiot orders a PC without internet functionality? At the time, oh, did I he did not, not buy it? PCIe card oh. was, nor that it would be an opt-in scenario. Ah, I sit foolish. For several minutes, Again, skill very, issue. Very stupid. I start to feel very silly. Of the situation and begin to get a little upset. This was not meant to be this complicated. This was meant <laughs> to make life easier. I thought Mobo's but had Wi-Fi. Being silly, surely like there's a built way to in. Fix this. I don't know when this In video order to calm myself, I go for a run but. through a local park. On my journey, I see a deer Some standing don't. there, okay, alone, yeah. staring at Aww. me. Something about this bothers me. I read up about PCIe Wi-Fi cards and order one from Amazon for 20 euro. Problem solved? No. The card arrives a few days later, but it's getting around 10% of the bandwidth my old <laughs> PC was, as well as other devices in the same uh. room. I open up my machine and remove it, but I'm starting to notice something else. This PC is slow like really really slow slower than my machine i bought five years ago dude look how scratched up it is it, and it takes nearly four times as long and and i panic but how this is a state-of-the-art machine this is a render beast what is happening a new emotion floods my body dude. fear raw cold fear Fear that I have entered a world I do not understand. Does anybody, do any of you guys have pre-builts? Because you didn't want to deal with the bullshit. It's common, right? Like, there's got to be a lot of people here, right? Yeah, okay. It sounds like a fucking nightmare, if I'm being honest. Like, I got a pre-built and... Hold on. I got a pre-built and hit on a 3090 the week after. Jesus. It just sounds like a nightmare, dude. Depends on where you get it from. Even still, like... I don't know. So, I was building this last night. I put everything together. And it's, like, really stressful when it doesn't come together. And, and of course, I have the issue. So, there's something that happens where when you first try to boot, it just won't turn on sometimes. And I'm scared to fucking death. And then I found out it's the RAM. You have to, like plug in and take out the RAM a few times. And for some reason, that fixes it eventually. It's so stupid. The RAM is so sensitive. It's always the fucking RAM. And then it started working. But it's like, if I didn't know that, I would be pulling my fucking hair out. Like, I, I've had more years on this earth than most people. So I've had more of these experiences where this shit goes wrong. It sucks. You spend a lot of money on this stuff, too. And Jesus there Christ. I now face problems complicated and frightening, ones beyond my ability to solve. Oh, hell no, Ian, the, the device that manager. Machine cost me a lot of money. His so ass is managing I his devices. To call Dell customer service, and the real nightmare begins. Anything with computers is very simple. It takes 10 hours to figure out. Yeah. That's point, that's that's the biggest issue is that the fucking it doesn't it's it's never a hard thing it's just something that like if you don't have the knowledge check it's gonna take you forever. I want to take a second and acknowledge that all the individual representatives I spoke to were polite, kind, and patient with me, despite my deteriorating mental state. None of this is their fault. Rather, they are just individuals doing their best in a monolithic system so cold, so unwieldy, and so colossal, it now fills me with what I can only liken to a kind of cosmic horror. I get mean to these people. <laughs> not because, not personally, like, it's not like I'm mean at them. I'm mean because I want to get through them. I know I'm an asshole. No, you know what it is? I want to get through them. Because I've worked with so many of these people that have to run me down the line of, like, I, I was on the phone with Verizon the other day trying to figure out if I could get my internet faster, and they tried to sell me a deal eight times. If I'm mean and I try to push through them so they'll stop asking me, then maybe I'll get on the line with the person I need to talk to. Coney, the type of person to ask for the manager? No, I'm just not here for the chit-chat. I, dude, I was on, I was on, I was on fucking a chat with Verizon, and the eighth guy in a row is like, hey, what's your problem? I'm like, 
Okay, I'm paying for gigabit. I only have 200 up and 200 down. I have Ethernet. I've reset my router. I've e reset my ONT. I have a third-party router, but it's not an issue because I bought it less than a year ago. It is capable with gigabit. All of these things are true. Please don't ask me to do any of that again. Could you try resetting? No, I'm not going to fucking reset. I, put me through to the next guy. I feel like I'm I'm in New Game Plus, and I just have to take these fucking... Like, I have to, I just have to be mean to these people so they'll put me on to the next person. You know what I'm saying? I just can't, I know that they have to follow their script and go down the line. I know that. That's part of their job. Because if I get to the fourth person and I haven't, I don't have the, the fucking, the God Soul tier of saying that, yes, I've reset my router, then they're going to send me all the way back. I get that. It's a quest item. It just pisses me off. But I do not know that yet. I I'm spamming through Verizon dialogue. Problems. I'm just mashing A, oh, yeah. John, you poor, deluded fool. After hitting my There's keypad. definitely a nice way of doing that. Nope. Because the nicer I am, the more likely they think they can get me to buy into a package. I've been nice before. It didn't work. Several times in order to navigate my way to an agent, I find myself on hold. I'm not caring. I'm not mean to them. Like, I don't... I'm not mean to the person. I'm mean to the system. I want to get through them. You know what I'm saying? No, no, no. I'm not mean to the person. I'm just short with them. In the goal... Because I'm not here for the niceties. You know what I mean? Hey, how's your day going? Hope minutes, you're doing well. I, this is what elevators in hell I want to get off this call. I've been here Sometime for 45 later, minutes. Connected to an agent. He tells me we are you're going short to with everyone. Okay, buddy. D d d another remark like that. You're going to take a, a 10 minute break. Okay? Diagnostic checks on my computer. This process takes several hours. Him remotely and strike controlling one. my machine. He sees my Guilty Gear wallpaper. We talk about Guilty Gear. He is very pleasant. Finally, we get the results. And it's the worst thing imaginable. Nothing. Nothing <laughs> is wrong. I insist there has to be something. This is not normal. And after a combination of righteous indignation... Nah, man, you're just crazy. Ending, he speaks to his superior. You're crazy as hell, bro. Repairman to replace the one thing it could be, my motherboard. The motherboard is the part of your PC that all the individual elements connect to. If it is bro, if I paid twenty three hundred for a motherboard like this and it looked like that, I would be mad as hell. I need some gamer shit. If I'm paying that many euros, I need some RGB, bro. What the fuck? It could explain my slow speeds. The next day, I am make it look fancy, bro. Desk and reconnect my old PC. Give me some lights. It is a moment of profound melancholy. Green ass motherboard behind my desk, and there it sits. That should look like grass. Useless. Please let the new motherboard fix things. Please let this end. I just want to make videos on my new PC. I just need things to get a little easier. Several days pass. They'll tell me I will get a call when the repair. I do heck and love RGB. I won't know the specific date. Although my computer is all white right this now. This does not. Happen. Do you want to see it? Do you want to see it? It's all heck and white. Hold on. This is this is the new. Wait. Jesus. PC. Oh. It's it's stuck. The other the the ca oh this is in the way. The camera. See. See. We heck and love lights. You see it? There you go. I'm getting motion sickness. We'll take a fucking Dramamine. It's your problem. It's good. Put us down. Okay, one sec. Hold on. Okay. One of these. Dude, yeah, I water cool because fans are fucking bulky and gross. Dude, fans are only like $30, but come on. It looks like shit. Instead, I get an email at the gross. end of the week. Saying that no one was home when the delivery man called. I find this suspect. Ireland is in national lockdown, and both me and my partner are home 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I know this. Thanks, because Super Jared. I was there, frustrated and growing exhausted. Side panel mounted? That's the right play! Oh, wait, no, no, actually, it's no. My, it's mounted at the top. Those were just exhaust fans. You shithead. Really thought you got me. I emailed Dale back. Hey, if you guys want to help fund this new PC along with other great things, go ahead and subscribe for free. It does fine. I shouldn't have shown my computer. Nobody's gonna see. I'm gonna get decayed to shit. Several days pass. 
Delta wow, Cody, clearly you're doing fine. Is coming, but that I won't know the specific date or time. This does not happen. Instead, I get an email at the end of the week saying that no one was home when the delivery man called. I find this suspect. Several <laughs> days pass. Dell tell me I will get a call when the repairman is coming, but that I won't know the specific date or time. This does not happen. Instead, I get an email at the end of the week saying that no one was home when the delivery man called. I find this suspect. Finally, a repairman arrives. I feel weird that there is someone new in my apartment for the first time in months. I talk to him about psychics and conspiracy theories. He is very nice. After an hour, he leaves, and I stare at my new machine. All the fondness I felt for it is now gone. Did he not test it? It now fills me with a subtle sense of dread, but maybe not for much longer. I turn it on. Two minute boot time. No, no, no. It takes an hour and a half to render a podcast. No, 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 no. I lie on my floor for several minutes. Why didn't they try to, to fix this it? Song. This is something I do when I am upset. That looks like it would hurt. It has been two and a half weeks since my PC arrived. I consigned myself to get up early the next morning and figure out what is It's a video, Coney. None of this PC. actually happened. I go oh, it's like a Hollywood sad. film. The yeah. early morning light in my office feels muted and cold. I sit down and reconnect my PC, laptop sitting at my desk. I am going to figure this out. After a couple of hours of digging through web forums, I identify the potential problem. The hard drive. If the hard drive is not running correctly, it could be bottlenecking the entire system. Okay, so yeah. So I check my hard drives and- Oh! God! No! These are not solid state drives. Drives, but mechanical You didn't hard pay drives. the extra money! Yes, or solid state drives are the modern day standard. Mechanical hard drives are outdated, ah. only used now for storage but never as boot drives the drive your PC actually runs from. This is why my 5 Paid 2,000 pounds for this? My new one. It had a solid state drive that came as standard. My new PC did not. I no, this, the fact that it took this long means that this person is unfortunately not very savvy at this stuff, which I'm not, I'm not mad at them for, you know, that's what this kind of shit is, but that sucks because that means there's going to be a lot more problems. It missed the drop down that's going to be so much worse. This. The whole inside this is like the first issue. This is layer one. You know what I mean? And this poor guy. Like, like a subway train. Oh, a God. Mannequin. Fear, shame, anger. How? How could I have done something as stupid as order Wait, mechanical Wait, eight gigs of memory? Drives. <laughs> I have trapped myself in this hell. 2K for eight gigs? Unrelenting shame. Perhaps I really am as stupid as those videos on the internet say I am. <laughs> I may have cried at this point. They're like adult Legos, bro. It's so easy. After a while, it's so I easy, man. A of melancholy, and a small shaft of light pierces through. Maybe there's still hope. Maybe I can still oh. get a refund. If I can, if I can just start it all again, I'd, I'd make better decisions. I'd do things right this time. There was still hope. I could still do this. No way! No obligation to refund your machine. Ice. Ice through my veins. I am dying. I am angry. <laughs> but more than anything else, I am ashamed. I have entered a world of which I know nothing. Should have bought an alien myself, there, bro. Dozens of hours, thousands That's of euros, and choice. countless increments of sanity. I am a fool. I was Two week window. Dude, so I just bought a. Uh... I just bought a uh, processor and uh, my MOBO, and they said that, okay, all this other shit is 30 days, but that shit's only two weeks, and I, I was in a panic trying to get this shit together, and I had to order all the parts individually, and I was going fucking insane. Tell I was scared to death. Was to embrace what if I got a bent pant? To upgrade oh, my God. machine myself. And immediately, things get complicated. Yeah, I don't know what he paid for. Like how, do you, how did you pay 2K for this with 20. no SSD? I know that SATA solid-state drives will work with it, but 
There is a new type of SSD. That's Hell more yeah! Powerful with better performance. This shit rules. In VMEs. And it's so the easy to put in. Is that some computers are unable to boot off NVMEs? It depends on your BIOS, which is something I don't know anything about. Oh, I didn't know I that. I know this will be the more complicated option, but something inside we me We love M2s, bro. This NVMe that shit takes drive. a second to it's screw in. It's so easy. It's made me feel like that if I could obtain one and make it work, then NVMe maybe is this whole journey will have meant something. But there's a problem. My motherboard lacks M2 connectors, which it needs, uh, and so I begin the long journey of seeing if NVMe drives will even work on my computer. Uh, I search the internet and find only ambiguity. I just need this one answer. If I can find <laughs> out if my PC is compatible with NVMe's, I can put this ass entire nightmare bro. behind me, and so I make the decision. I call Dell customer service. <laughs> is that his mic, by the way? The following day is a blur no way that's his mic. rage and frustration. I start by messaging a Dell chat window, only to be given a number, and innocently, foolishly, I jot this number down. Shotgun mic? Is that what that is? Uh, I see, sir. Uh, that's Never an seen upgrade like issue, that. not a customer support issue. No, sir. This is the upgrade service department. You need upgrade sale. I'm sorry, but this is more of a technical support problem. Ah, uh, I'm afraid you'll need our out of warranty team. I spend several days trying to get in touch with the out of warranty team. There is no phone number to contact them directly from Ireland. You have to be transferred by a Dell agent. The problem is that it takes an hour to get to that point, and I keep getting See, disconnected. And this is why you get me. Send me no Yep, yep, okay. I realize yep, later yep. that this is because the Dell agents think I am calling from the UK. And so I am yep. being connected to several UK numbers. That's why you get me in Ireland. I begin each new conversation by explaining this to my support agents and am met with only bewildered silence. One bleak Thursday afternoon, after four hours and finally getting through to the out of warranty team, I am given a final number to call. I jot it down in my notebook before seeing the same exact number <laughs> already in my notebook. This is the number I started with several days ago. I try to scream, but nothing comes out. I hang up the phone and go to bed. It is 5 p.m. I do not call Dell for several days. I put a blanket over my new PC. Oh. I do not want to look at it. Finally, I make one more attempt. I go to a local park where I think my phone will have the best signal to minimize disconnects and start the process all over again. For 40 minutes, I sit alone, listening to Dell's hellish hold music. Oh, God. Before There's finally gotta be a better way, right? The out of warranty team. Like a close one computer repair shop or time. The agent on the other end. I pay them a shit ton of money, I guess. She so. assures me that they have a Dell branded NVMe drive that will in fact work with my computer. Oh no, it's she Dell branded. She'll send me a quote later that day. I'm not buying that shit. The phone and for the first Eight hundred dollars for a gig. Light. I am nearing the end of my journey. This was in the middle of the pandemic. Oh yeah. True, okay. Yeah. But it could have been the rain. I feel a great weight lifted. I return to my apartment and things start to feel normal. I reflect on my journey and all I've learned. If nothing else, I know a lot more about PCs now than I used to. And so maybe it was all worth it. Yeah. Maybe it's all really going to be okay. The deluded ramblings of a foolish child. I receive my quote from Dell. 400 Jeez. 400 euro for a new Dell one terabyte NVMe drive. I Whoa. am bewildered. I am furious. Terabyte kind of big though. I mean, that'll fit all your system and then a lot for storage. Yes. Curse it. Curse it's not terrible. It. Third party drives cost a quarter of the <laughs> price. I I cannot afford to. Uh, yeah, but that's that Western Digital. I'm not buying a Western machine. Digital. Bro, do not buy Slowly, Western Digital. I That's a meme. Look around me, and the normality I felt cracks and falls away. An illusion designed to plunge me deeper into agony Wrong? and despair. No. And I. Western Digital just is fine? No, no, break. no. 
I had a bad experience with them 10 years ago, and now I hate them still. <laughs> Same with AMD. I give, I give up hope. I give up my dreams. I this is a away. Samsung house. I forget my delusions of an NVMe drive. That's literally I what I have. Get one. that. Well, I don't know I if order I order a regular old it's a 980, no drive Evo. for 80 euro on Amazon. And somewhere deep down, a little part of me slips away and never comes back. A week later, my solid state drive arrives. A week? I feel no joy. I feel no pain. It just is. I open up my PC once again and connect my solid state drive. Let this nightmare end. <laughs> it does not. My computer cannot detect my new solid state drive. Panic shoots through me. No. <sighs> How? This is impossible. This cannot happen. I, I do not want this. Members of my discord have heard my plight and offer to help. They were all very nice and good. I film myself digging around the guts of my PC and stream it to them. They treat me with a gentle kindness, as if I were a child who has fallen down the stairs for the first time. We identify the problem. Oh. The SATA power plug is not connected to the hard drive. <laughs> and after a long time, far, oh, far too man. long, He's I so find new. an unused SATA power plug within the depths of my machine. He's so new. He's so new. This is so sad. We've all been this. This fucking idiot. Will, stop! <laughs> Be nice! We've all been him! I plug it in. I have been him before! PC, and... Nothing. It still does not... Oh. ...work. I thank everyone for their help. Now I what? Call. I sit in silence. I will be here... Forever. <laughs> the next morning, a member of my Discord sends me. Dude, a link. the worst part the of these two is how much time you're wasting. front loaded. You'll spend an hour system, on this shit, which requires separate upgrade kits to fit SSDs and NVMEs. I get excited, and in my foolish exuberance, order an NVMe drive. <laughs> but there is a problem. I cannot find these kits anywhere <sighs> online. You cannot buy them directly. The only way to get them is by calling <laughs> Dell Customer Service. The Customer Service saga plays out again. Out of kindness, I will spare you from experiencing this saga. Dude, this is insane to me because I used to work Corpo and they tried anything they could do to get you not on the phone. That's why Amazon and all these other companies do anything to try to get you to chat with somebody. Again, just note. Specifically so you don't call. That same mercy. Finally, I get to the out of warranty team and they send me a quote. I like the chat. parts to fix my new machine cost 467 <laughs> euro. I roar, but no sound comes out. I cry, but no tears emerge. The emptiness that was once inside me has expanded to encompass my entire reality. Dark, cruel blackness as far as the eye can see. I search the internet for a third party solution, but can only find one tray with the right measurements, but they no longer ship to Ireland. I check my parcel motel, which is a service I use to import things from the UK, but they are no longer in business due to Brexit. Oh my God, he's in hell. I sit back down, my face- It's white, like Silent Hill 4. My soul broken. There's no contact with the outside world. Spirit, shattered against this mammoth corporate. Obelisk. In that moment, I know true cool defeat. Mouse, though. I give in. Through a layer of deep sobs. Dude has spent like 3k USD so far. Yeah. I mean like... Euro. <laughs> Del gotcha. The, like what do you do if you're buying a PC for the first time? Where would you go? I feel like I would go Del 2. Because like you don't go Alienware. That's meme. Right? You wouldn't go with like a small shop because that... You can't trust them. NZXT? Dude, I just changed my NZXT case because that shit is a toaster. I buy power? Uh, Acer? I went HP. Okay. Build your own. Yeah, just go to Micro Center and annoy those guys. Although, it, it is intimidating to go to Micro Center and go up to that counter and be like, hey, can you help me? Because then you look like a stupid baby. That's intimidating. Because then, depending on who the Micro Center guy is, they might be a shithead. I don't know. There's something about that. You either... Micro Center is... is I, you always, I always have a 50% shot 
of it's either the coolest guy I've ever met that's totally like personable, it's totally fine, or this guy with this vague air of smugness. And I feel like the first guy is more common. Micro Center staff has always been very nice to me. But the second guy, it, it, sometimes you roll that dude and it just feels like shit. I look into the mirror. I no longer respect I usually the have a good experience, me. but. That was four days ago. Thank you for listening to my story. I am sorry. I am guessing people are going to reach out and offer to help, but you cannot help me. You cannot save me. <laughs> Wait, there's still I am 15 minutes. Dead. It's at this point I begin to document my journey on Twitter. A lot of people begin to follow it. A pressure begins to mount in my chest. The next tweet reads, My phone beeps. I tremble. I open my package and find it is not in fact my upgrade set, but a PCIe Wi-Fi card I ordered from Dell. I sigh in disappointment. But this does not need to be a bad thing. This simple fix might help restore some of my lost morale. I open the PC back up and insert the card, connect it to the external <laughs> signal receiver, close it back up. Uh, I can do this. My PC does not recognize the card. Yeah. I spend an hour and a half adjusting every Wi-Fi setting back and forth, restarting my computer over and over. Little by little, my hope chips away. I scratch and I claw and I struggle. But I am an ape staring at the sky, the boundless freedom of the internet, never Dude. to be mine. I pour a hot bath. This steam is comforting. I glimpse This is such like a relatable experience. Not Dell. Is rippled <laughs> and distorted. But just dealing with this I bullshit. I do not recognize the person staring back at me. Something about this. Maybe he made me. his money back off it. Hold on. What's the video views? 35 minutes? Okay, he probably made it back. For 35 minutes at 665k pay out. He might be okay. The Twitter thread continues to gather momentum. Journalists write articles about it. I begin to worry. Things are getting... Buying from Dell for content. <laughs> My NVMe and caddy arrives. With quivering hands, I open it up. The screws are very tiny. My fingers cramp. After Ooh. too long, I fit the NVMe inside the caddy. This is it. I am not a religious man. Surely in it that works. Moment, I pray. I feel my prayer rise out of my mouth into the sky. Surely the it works. Through space and enter the great cosmic unknown. I feel it experience worlds different and alien and strange until finally it collides with the consciousness of some great cosmic being. Tony, there's 15 infinitely more minutes. older and more unknowable. The next than 15 minutes are a Dell ad. Has ever encountered He's so happy. Or ever will. God satan some advanced alien life form i do not know but i pray to it i beg it please please just let my pc work i feel this massive corporeal entity stir its gargantuan lips part celebration. and from them escapes a deep cosmic whisper that crashes down through the heavens down through the clouds down through my roof rupturing my reality, shaking my soul, and with a silent, deafening roar, it whispers, No. My BIOS does not recognize my NVMe drive. Man. I go empty. The darkness once inside me now becomes my everything, not merely my reality, but my That's past, another five hundred dollars, right? My future. It twists infinitely across space and time, infecting every moment of my life. <laughs> Each second that has come before, every Yeah, just flash the bios, bro. After I see it all. Flash the bios. My entire existence was always leading to this. There is no escape. There never was. This is my end. This is all I am. This he doesn't know what is that all means. I will ever be forever and ever and 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 See you later.
when suddenly my phone rings. It is a number I do not That's your ringtone? Hello? Is this John Walsh? Yes? Good afternoon, Mr. Walsh. I am a representative of Dell. We have been monitoring your thread on Twitter. <laughs> it's all a prank. It's all a prank. We were, do we were doing this for fun. We we're having a good time. The Here's your real computer. Last nearly one hour, over the course of which I learn one thing. Dell have sent me a heavy hitter. The person I am speaking to is nothing less than the Special Forces Black Ops of Customer Service. Her title is Resolution Manager, but for the rest of this conversation, I will refer to her simply as The Closer. She has one <laughs> job. Make this problem go away. Make me go away. Does this work? If I just bitched about Southwest Airlines for like a week straight, would somebody call me? I feel like I would just be annoying to people on Twitter. Whenever I see like a big account complain about a company, I'm like, oh, okay, here we go. A job she is frighteningly efficient at. She's apologetic for everything that's happened. While I DM them. To never I DM them. Apologize. Whenever I DM a, co a company, I'm like, I'm like, I got my hand over my gun. You know what I mean? It's like Wild West. I'm like, hey, I got a problem. Are we going to fix this or what? Guys. <laughs> Help me out, so okay? I, barely I don't want to go Oops. public. She's kind. She's <laughs> nice. Her words that wouldn't be good for either of us. Gentle. I'll look annoying on Twitter, I'll and me. you're going to look like shit. With my fury and sadness. AMD for trying to burn down my house. I can feel that you've been through a lot. It is the most seen, the most understood I felt by another person since the pandemic began. I try and stay angry, try and hold my edge, but I cannot. She is too strong. I curse my own weakness. The only point of the conversation she doesn't feel in full control of comes when she says, I can see from your Twitter you have a YouTube channel and 1.12 million subscribers. Ooh. There is a pause. For a moment, she sounds flustered. She recovers nearly immediately and with what feels like renewed conviction, pulls me into her final gambit. Now... What will it take to fix this? I nearly scream, I WANT BILL GATES' FUCKING HEAD! Before realizing how little sense that would make, I try and tell her that nothing, nothing can fix this. I have all the parts I need, I, I just need to find the right oh. configuration. As the words fall out of my mouth, not even I believe them. She politely, firmly dismantles my objections. So, you're going to try and fix the machine yourself? How has that been going? Trying to fight her is like striking at smoke. After an hour, I am exhausted, worn down by careful, gentle, precise words. She remains as sharp, friendly, and tactical as when the conversation began. She leaves me with a choice. In order to make all this go away, I'm prepared to either refund you the price of the caddies, or we give you a credit note upon return of the machine. The call ends. I cannot shake the feeling that I have been bested by a superior being. I mean, how the much are we talking? The whole thing or also the, the other 500 he spent here and there? Is like filled by an ocean. However, from its depths rises a final conflict, great and terrible. As petty and ridiculous as it might seem, I did not want to accept Dell's offer. After no. everything, I did not want to let them You put the so much time into story. it. And a huge part of that is I cannot rid myself of the feeling that the only reason Dell have contacted me is because of the infamy of the Twitter thread <laughs> the size of my following. I mean, I literally, yes. That. I just wanted to be sad on the internet. This is something oh, I have struggled with for a long time. Sorry, the, the audio keeps going up and down, sad. so I'm trying to preserve but your ears here. I do not here. accept gifts from large companies. I turn down <laughs> gift bags, download codes, and free merchandise. I do not want to be treated differently from any other person. It is not why I do what I do, and if not for who hell I no, am, wield that shit like a weapon. Know that hell no, left me hell no. This hell, like they potentially would. Bro, don't bow down to the fucking corporation. No, treat me like I'm nobody. Treat me like I'm just a regular person. Fuck that. They're going to fucking exploit you. It, it's a shitty game, but you have to play it. You have to be. Don't you know who I? Hell yeah, absolutely. That's the play you make. 
It's shitty and it's stupid because everybody knows being big on the internet doesn't mean a goddamn thing. But if they think it does, then use that illusion against them. That's the play. That's what you do. So many other people. I voice this, this is why you'll never have this power. You know how much free shit I've gotten from complaining? It happens. I just don't talk about it. I've had so many bad flights. Turns the closer, but she assured me. Bro, I am in case. company's DMs, bro. The same customer service they would to anyone. Absolutely. I want to believe her. So many Star Trek tokens. Do not. If I accept Dell's offer now, I will be disappointed in myself. But I am only also on the legitimate tired. shit. Only on the legitimate shit. I am so tired. This not a Karen. I'll be a Karen. Blood and life. You fuck with I me, I'm gonna be a Karen. Who hobbles? Fuck these corporations. One day to the next. I think you could treat Thoughts me like that. You should treat anybody like that, but least of all me. Fuck that. My partner softly pleads with me to accept the offer. She tells me she wants her boyfriend back. I feel I have let her down. And so, the final conflict... I don't complain emerges. about nonsense, just On to be clear. On one side, my soul, my desire not to abuse my status. On the other, my sanity... Abuse your status, bro! Fuck that! Return to a normal life. I am not it's a perk! Clearly. I have not, for what feels like, a very long time. The and PC so is the I new girlfriend. The people who will understand what this great and terrible journey is that why your door is still broken because you get free stuff? Yeah, I'm bugging Lowe's about it. They won't come Del's out and fix offer it. Or to embrace oblivion. Dude, those doors are like $300. And I think we just replaced them. Before I broke it, which is why I haven't fixed it. And it would take like 10 seconds, which is why I'm not my doing Dell it. PC into a large box I got from a local coffee shop. I seal it up, and it's hard not to feel strange that this day is finally here. I have thought about this machine every day for six months. Dude, it has become part of my life. I would hate I sending this back because I would feel like I failed. One final dance at it, and I'd feel like it. I wasn't smart enough to make it work. The Dell machine disappears out of my life forever. Dell eventually agreed to refund the price of the machine as well as the extras, and for that, I have to thank the closer. While I found her mildly terrifying initially, she did do her best to listen and help me, and I think that was coming from a sincere place. A week later, my phone beeps. There is a large package for me downstairs. My new computer is here. I am excited. Oh no. <laughs> I go downstairs and it's oh. it's the same machine. I I don't know how, but it has returned to me. I really wish I was joking <laughs> about this bit, but I am not. I become frightened the machine has some kind of horrific sentence. What? I very seriously consider setting it on fire. The following week, my new machine arrives. This is a PC that the members of my Discord helped me build. And for that, I will be eternally grateful to them. <laughs> it has an NVMe drive. It is very fast and very powerful. And it got RGB. NVMe oh, that shit pretty. Cheating. Turn on the this lights. This video you're watching right now is the first I've completed on it. Cool. I am happy. I feel this agonizing period of my life start <laughs> to fade. And at its end, I'm not sure if I have a moral or a lesson. Don't buy from Dell, bro. But I have what learned the fuck? one thing. I am a fucking idiot. However you want to slice it, I ordered a bad PC. Be mean to customer me. support. This would never have happened if I was less stupid. If you are mean to customer support, you get through them faster. And it's only when other people go renegade and and I finally grudgingly accepted that things <laughs> started to get better. So I guess what I do take from this. I will be ruthless. Now, hold on. <laughs> Don't be mean to the individual person. Be mean to the system. That's what I, I mean to the to the whole department. Humans are not creatures designed to function in isolation. <laughs> There's no shame in asking for help in things you don't understand or problems you don't feel that you can face by yourself. Because otherwise... You could just end up as a big dumb idiot. Be mean to everyone all the PC, time, yeah. And then have to make a video about it. Thanks for watching. Good movie. Pretty good. I was I was I was concerned when it was this long. I thought Friends. it wouldn't be able to hold, but pretty good. Not bad. Good movie. I'll drop a sub.
drop a sub on that. This is uh, Super Eye Patch Wolf. They make a lot of stuff. Not this. Not like this at all. They've got a bunch of other stuff. But I saw this title and I had to give it a shot. Didn't need to be that long, but I'm glad he got paid for his trouble. Yeah, took a lot of a lot of embellishing, a lot of creative stuff, but you know, nice to pad it out a bit. All right, it's almost ten. Let me go to the bathroom real quick and then start up the the thing. Okay, one sec. Oh god, I have slippery socks on. Honey is talking with Dude. Dell customer support right Dude. now. No, no, it's like poetry. It's like poetry. I just got an email from Spirit Airlines. Mal and I are going on vacation in late August, okay? And I bought, I bought a flight. I go. literally just got this email while I while I got up. Dude, hold on. This is insane. That how topical this is. So, my, th the camera's still a little tilted because I grabbed it earlier. Hold on, let me just. Spirit, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. This is why I bought Spirit, okay? So, I did, uh, so Mal and I are going to Jamaica in late August, okay? And the flight from here to Jamaica is two hours. Sure, really quick. Fuck it. I'll, I'll, I'll fly on a bus in the sky for two hours for really cheap. It was super cheap to Jamaica. It was fine. Spirit's not that bad. D if you don't have to be there for very long. I just got emailed for the final notice about my schedule change. I'm not going straight to Jamaica anymore. This is a... This was a two and a half hour flight from Baltimore to Jamaica. Now it's two and a half hours to go to Fort Lauderdale. And then another two hours after that, after a three hour layover. It's an all day travel. There and back. And now we're so close to the date. Well, I guess not really. We're still two months out. But I'm going to have to book another fucking flight. Now, I guess that's my fault for getting spirit. Surely I can get a refund. But that means I'll have to call them. And I'll have to be mean to customer support. Which I am not above doing, as you know. I'm gonna I'm not gonna be nice. I will not be nice. Tweet about it first? Maybe. I don't think Spirit gives a shit if you're a big account. Eh, fuck you. Everybody knows we suck. What are you gonna do about it? They're not gonna care. Yeah, what does Spirit care? Nice something special for you, okay? 
something very special for tonight's stream. If you can believe it, tonight's stream is a sponsored stream. Thanks to Ubisoft for sponsoring this. Hold on, let me get it. I gotta get it set up so they can Hello? see that I'm actually talking about it. Okay, hold on. And What's this song? I have to put this in the title. Okay. 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 Big thanks to Ubisoft for sponsoring the stream tonight. Oh, hold on. I got to get rid of the music. Sponsoring the stream tonight. We're going to be playing some Trivial Pursuit Live 2 with some of my friends. But guess what? You guys don't have to be bored because you guys get to be in the action too. It's Oh, wait. I got to hide the other sponsor people because they're behind it. <laughs> Chat is actually uh, one of the players. There's a there's actually a a, a, a real life uh, chat interaction inter integration that's the word so you guys get to play too it's gonna be fun why isn't this working wait can you guys hear it oh it's because of this I have to change the yeah there we go okay I love <laughs> I'm not reading. I almost read that. I'm not going to do that. Chad is going to cheat. Please don't cheat. Please don't cheat. It's important that you don't cheat or I'll ban you and I'll kick you out. And I'll know. Guys, with Trivial Pursuit, you get to showcase your knowledge by playing your favorite trivia game like never before in a TV game show experience with four original question formats. You can customize your trivia experience by playing as one of the new characters, unlocking rewards, and picking your favorite outfit to look your best on the modern stage. You can also bring the challenge online by facing opponents from all over the world. Compete against your favorite streamers and other viewers on Twitch with a brand new streaming mode using the Twitch chat voting system. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, we did it. Okay, I gotta join Discord. Wait, did I say- Oh, god damn it! I got the new computer thing and I forgot to set up my Discord. The- the thing. One second. <laughs> Hold on. It'll take like a minute. It's fine. It's fine. Time to call Dell. No. Vince set me up with the Discord thing that I have to do for the... Hold on. I hate that I have to do this every time. I don't know why it doesn't save. Okay. Four. Oh, okay. What is this music? Western. <laughs> okay. There's the drop. Got a little different there. Song go kind of crazy. Okay. All right, we're good. All right, you guys ready? Oh, hold on. Wait. Wait, I have to fix this. For some reason, all my audio goes buddy? out. To... Hey, buddy. All right, let's oh, do it. Oh, we can't hear no, me. He's talking. We can't They can't hear me. Okay. Oh, no. Vince did him so dirty. Oh, is this a Vince? Wait, can you hear me? No, he just... Is it now? Vince maybe set up his computer or something. Else. Okay, how about now? Is this good? Oh, I think hey. I oh, hey. There he is. As loud as ever. Yeah. Oh, is it loud? Okay, good. Okay. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's, it's like normal volume. Okay. Hold on, let me try restarting Discord because I- Oh wait, no, it's because of this. This is the vid, the audio cable. Because I had to reset up the audio cable stuff. Let me try it, one sec. Ah, ta ba 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 it's not working, oh my god. I don't even know how to get into our room together. Well, okay, I whatever, to I'm go gonna online. be this loud. Hopefully there's a code like uh, the other game. Okay, can, is this is this loud enough? Because I, I'm otherwise yeah. I'm gonna have to spend forever yeah, fixing this. Okay. No, I can do. We can do you fine. Well, you me at least. I hear you. Oh, how there's to, like, a creator room a option. Room or, like, oh, we got thing. quiet now. I'm quiet. I think he's moving. Oh, like, now oh, you're okay. fine. Yeah. Okay. Like why you said that. 
Uh, when I just went to play online, there was like a create a room option, so I guess I don't know, right there. This shit is loading. <laughs> yeah. Are you here too? Oh no, we're just gonna ask you to make a Ubisoft account, which you I think you like have to do, but it takes a long time to load. <laughs> <laughs> it won't let you it. I can't skip this. It's crazy because the like the text when you read it, it makes it sound very optional. <laughs> But yeah. it won't let you go past. <laughs> you I, just I see it says it. connect like, me right, now and back. Yeah, yeah, I have two options. Oh, yeah, press back. You'll go to the game for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why do I? Okay, I have an account, but now I have to. Okay, let me get rid of my stream thing. <laughs> <laughs> Are we friends on Ste on Switch? I don't know if we're all like connected. Uh, that is a good question. Because we all just piggybacked um, in Smash lobbies. Yeah. I mean, well, I have two friends online right now. Three, apparently. Yeah, I have you. I have both friends of you. List. Oh, yeah, I do. Kenny and Coney. There you go. Wait, I hope my Penny. password's right. <laughs> what does that me you have? <laughs> um, I forget what it is. Oh, yeah, that's me. Come on. All right, Keon, man. Uh, play online? Yeah, play online, and there was like a creative match thing, which I didn't do. But, yeah. Oh, hold on. I got to connect on Twitch. That'll... Oh, true, true, Let me true. do that. Against your viewers. Mind you, they're all going to fucking cheat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a terrible idea. Well, fortunately, there's a voting system, so that maybe there's, you know, maybe the people who are going to answer wrong on purpose because it's funny... They'll outweigh the people who are looking up the answers. Sure, yeah. Have a little bit of integrity, please. Okay. An honest battle against chat? I'm down. <laughs> Do you guys want this character? I can apparently randomize it. Which is the... Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, wow. Ah, that's easy. Friend. I see it. Yeah. Wait, I can only invite one friend. Wait, what? I, maybe it's at a time. Oh, to fill that specific slot? Yeah, Kenny, probably. that's like... not you. I just I saw the meat too. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Thank That's you. not Kenny. Thank you. Just, I'll change it. There's no All Pikachu. Right. Oh, invite from Coney. Dude, how do I accept invites from the Switch? I don't, I don't know. Oh, there we go. A lot of firsts today. A lot of firsts. I don't use my Switch like that. Well, I accepted the invite, so yeah, I would like to join Coney's game. But thank you. Did you invite me? Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's me. The big sports fan. Make our character cute. How about there's a nurse? You want that guy? <laughs> you can be this guy. How about that? Wait, oh, I can't shit. change myself. Chat is trendy. Dude, I can change chat. I can't pick my <clears throat> my thing. I just have ready and back. Oh yeah, you have to like you have to edit it on like the the very like first page, like offline. Whatever, I'll be her. <clears throat> She's fine. That's how I became the guy from Clue. <laughs> Sports fan edition. Get him here. Kenny, the kid quiz with. Oh my god. <laughs> Kenny's me! Oh, uh, <laughs> can I change that? No, let, we'll Not, just, no. no we're you gotta starting be on it off. Like, yeah, you gotta be on like the main main page. <laughs> okay. It's like changing your uh, like your buttons and like smash. We'll figure it out. Did you have to pay for that outfit? That looks like DLC. What I'm wearing now? Yeah, dude. No, that's just, it's for the sports fans. So, you know. Spending $50 in cosmetics. You gotta love some sports ball to unlock this one. Coney, how does chat play? I don't know. <laughs> I think this has a voting system. Sure. Oh, you can emoji. Is that pizza? Oh, I'm stupid. That's the... It's the witch. Right, we can oh. this. Game. And here's who we've got lined up. Round one. Oh, do you not oh, go on yeah. a board? Quick starter. I don't know. Here's don't ask questions. Works. What are we... <laughs> Quick starter. As always, okay, the whatever that means. Score you points. Okay. Each question is worth I'm more than the last. Yeah. Yep. It's trivia, bro. 
<laughs> That's it. Ask question, answer question. Prove your mastery of movie, television, and music. It's all entertainment. Can I skip this? Which famous actors are considering the Oh! You guys oh. know this one, right? Oh. Uh, um, I don't. <laughs> Kenny has left the, the game. game. What? Kenny? Game for me. Okay, well. I don't actually. Wow. Oh, you can know see this. the chat. Oh, that's cool. Look at all the smart chatters. That's crazy. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Kenny, what happened? There's an AI now. I don't know. He's and now you're a robot. He's now Emma Carson. Okay. With the full name and everything. Yeah! Putting me on blast? Like. <laughs> they had to call us out specifically. Okay, I guess Comic we have books, to leave. Dance, like, so that's tough. I'm play. the only one. Oh, I would love to get into a new game. Oh, I don't want to be the only one who got that you. one wrong. Thank God, a do over. I got Nicolas Cage. Yeah. Okay. No, well, you didn't. Emma Carson got Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Let me in. Change your character? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me change character before Oh, true, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Profile? don't be a sports fan. I won't be a sports fan. I won't be a sports fan. Bro, the extra outfits aren't even like DLC. You have to like complete milestones to unlock one. Don't miss a single sports and leisure question in a game. Well, I can tell you I'll have that after this one. <laughs> As the sports fan. All right, my shit is locked in. <laughs> what the fuck? What are these options? A screw <laughs> Fucking <guy>. achievements <laughs> to get accessories in this game. <laughs> What is this? Oh, wind dance. Okay, I was gonna say, can I emote in the middle of the? Okay. That's cooler than DLC, though. Honestly. Yeah, I kind of like it. You know. You log into a random game, you see someone's tricked out. You know, they're just a quiz master. One of the titles is Experiment Zero, which is kind of intimidating. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment fan. All right, let me re-invite you, Kenny. Do you know what happened? Uh. No, I guess it's <laughs> lost connection. Well, hopefully it doesn't happen again. From my end, it's said Coney left, but obviously that's not true. Obviously that's not true. You gotta be honest, I think he just left because he didn't know the answer to that question. <laughs> it was a tough one. It was a tough Here. one. Even though 83% of chat and both of us got it right. I didn't get it right. I was the only person who didn't okay, get it right. I didn't know okay. that one. Bro, being able to see the chat thing adds an extra layer to it. Because you might pick an answer and just think, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Seeing everybody else pick one thing. That's a cool character, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> really cool. You love science and nature, huh? Yeah, that's me. Did he just... Did he port Zack over from The Sims? Is that what that is? <laughs> Shut that's up! What I was going for, that's not me! Like that. I knew it. <laughs> that's not me! I didn't say it was you. I said from The Sims. Chat, that's you. Your grandma. <laughs> She's like biker grandma with the with a watering can. She's out there, bro. That's Triathlon. You, bro. Hmm. Oh, I start up. Okay. Oh yeah, we all have to get ready and then we won't start that. So. Yeah. Alright, bro, give me some sports questions. Just make he it. He does easy. love sports. Tony, the entertainment fan. <laughs> I, I, I'm just waiting until I unlock more, bro. I'm trying to be experiment zero. It's like a Resident Evil monster. Hot grandma. No. No. Time just the grandma. No, just the no. grandma. Yeah. Just tone it down. Why is she holding it like that? She's holding it delicately. Oh hell yeah! Quick starter. I, oh, I thought that was Time entertainment. Time to check out what this round is all about. <laughs> I love some entertainment. As always, correct and Oh yeah, you're an entertainment fan. I'm a big entertainment now. fan, though. All right. Technology. Oh no! Technology, oh, chemistry, oh, space. It's all here in science and nature. What the fuck? What kind of nerd garbage is that? <laughs> what the? 
moon? <laughs> I know what I'm going for, bro. Uh, there we go. What? Why is moon one of the answers? What does that mean? The moon is one of the answers. Like the moon? <clears throat> Yeah, you better not have cheated. It's Triton. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah, yeah. Big that science and nature fan. Big yeah. man, big man. Okay. He doesn't it's even put out his mic up. to clap. <laughs> He's hitting his wrist. Moving oh, hell yeah. There's so much feedback. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> when are we going to get to my category, bro? What the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> what chat? What you is don't it? Know? Honestly, I think it's a little too fast for chat to cheat effectively. So we could have a shot here. Yeah, right? Okay, I'm chat, chat. Chat. I'm with chat. I'm going they with just chat. know. They just know who. It's the live one. Is. I think chat literally just knows who Guillermo del Toro is. That's Toros. the only name That's that they recognize. Is. So I'm going. Yeah. Uh. Oh, I guess I didn't pick it. Uh, uh, who's wrong. Max Senate? Oh, his Dude. silent film slapstick farces. How could I forget? From the his 1920 oh, yeah. endeavors. Well, it's arts and literature. Yeah. Okay. Haka dance. <laughs> Whoever gets this wrong is clearly not cultured. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. Uh, locked in, bro. I don't even know if I'm right, but I'm confident. We know it's the Tongans. We know. We know, the, we know it's the Tongans, bro. Pop it. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's always the bottom one. <laughs> Stop. Very nice. Stop emoting. I picked that. Hobbies and games. Food and fun. It's, it's time, time uh -huh. for sports and leisure. Prince of which country is the hero of a popular... Oh. Okay. All oh, the gamers should get this Wait. one. Didn't they say this was a sports thing? <laughs> Wait a minute. Maybe... You're right. That's a sports thing in the top do left. Video games, do video games count under leisure? Oh, my God. All of Chad is getting it correct. Oh, Chad's a bunch of nerds, yeah. Imagine wow. it, was, it was Egypt. <laughs> Agrabah isn't even a real place. You can't just stop cheating, bro. Yeah, I, I don't believe he got all of those right. Cool. Uh, got quick on that one. On our hands. <laughs> one last question. Here's your chance, player one. Oh, God. Oh, what? Wait. I don't like either oh, of God. these. Oh, God. Please, history. Just we go geography on this. No, we go geography on this. My Achilles heel. Duh. My Achilles heel. I'm, I love geography, bro. I can't even tell you where uh, half the states are. Uh. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, I know it's not Nippon. I know <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I got it. Damn it! Once you lock in, you can't change. I'm going. I'm going, bro. I'm stuck, know, dude. I'm going. Oh, I think I can pick correctly. I see chat. Well, I might be right. <laughs> Chad, everybody get in. Them. Chad, everybody get them. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nunat. Come on, tell me. Tell me I was right. Tell me I was right. It's the Nunat, bro. Oh. Yes! That was the second highest, though. How was I supposed to know that? <laughs> oh, I got Not a bad. I should have been born in 1912. Great round. Oh, I got an achievement. In Three good ones in a row for Kenny. I'm not putting my switch down. Stop dancing. Yeah. the next round. All right, bro. Round two. It's close call. Let's take a look at the rules. Oh, oh, you got... cool take turns no, picking the best here. possible answer. Take turns? Try to pick the best of the remaining answers. Okay. The higher your answer ranks, the more Skip points it. you score. We'll figure it out. Skip How hard could it be? I don't have a thing to In cursor-based <laughs> rounds, yeah, it says waiting for move others. the cursor with the left... Chat. Cursor games. Uh. Synchronizing with other players. Uh. <laughs> what? Did someone drop? Uh, okay, we're here. 
<laughs> Pick the category it took a for this round, player three. Oh, yeah? Oh, geography, yeah. bro. We love geography. We got the last one right. Shut up. Who's we? We all did. Oh, wait, no, you didn't. <laughs> uh... Oh, my God. How do I curse her? How do I do the curse? Gotta, oh, gotta he move does with your curse. joystick. Gotta move with your joystick. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't have a joystick. The famous. Oh, oh it's one at a time. What is the famous? Chat, type a number. <laughs> Who's putting seven? I, well, I get. I don't know how much the famous is. It might be seven. Like the famous five or something like that. I don't even know if it's a real thing, but it sounds like it would be a real thing. Mm -hmm. Let's see the correct order. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Okay, yeah, yeah. I still don't know what the famous is. I don't, it doesn't tell us that. Time to bring your A. He only knows sports. Most Soviet countries has the largest territory. Oh, come on. Come on, what? Is that something everybody knows, or...? Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> oh, God damn. I was gonna say, that one's... Okay. Look, bro, I can't, I can't tell you where most of the states are, all right? <laughs> they're they're I, targeting me right now. I know Russia's the biggest, but I don't know what's second or third. So last time I looked at a map was? Uh, uh, I mean, Armenia is pretty big. Why uh, am I going last again? Because you're winning. Okay. You cr Ukraine. <gasps> For sure, Ukraine. Right? You would think I would, like, look at Ukraine recently with all the goings on. But... That's exactly how okay. I felt when I said that. Yeah. Can he pick the tiny ass country? <laughs> Don't make a left. Oh yeah, it's me and chat now. Better luck next Maybe time. You should put down the mic and focus. Now I'm in last All place. that feedback from just slamming. <laughs> <laughs> this is loud. Oh yeah, Kenny. This is all you, baby. There you go. <laughs> ah, of course. It, it has to be... Dude, Muskegee! Cause, no, that's tu I was gonna say the Muskegee Air Airmen, but that's Tuskegee. Right? Tuskegee's nuts. No, don't do that. <laughs> it's a loss of me either way at this point, so I'm just picking whatever. They, they took the only ones I wanted to pick. How much uh, rubber banding is in this game? Like, does last place always get to like, just pull ahead, you know? Yeah, just long. Well, I guess if they know the answer. Okay, we're in the running. We're okay, in the running, okay. so. Oh, we tied. Chat's so, win. They're cheating, so chat bro. To cheat. They're cheating, bro. The Google Chrome is just, it's wide Here's open. An update. <laughs> it just can't be seen as dumb. All 1,500 of you. Well, I don't know that my... I'll be swayed on that, but... <laughs> Wait, who gets to go first between me and Kenny you? Kenny does now. No, between me and you. Oh, I don't know. Me, because it's my game, bro. <laughs> Surely. Ah, yes, player one. Bro, that's okay. disgusting. Physics, sociology, astronomy. Surely. Well... D d d bro, math? Math is like in in that's old, but it's information theory. Oh, that's like <laughs> yeah, computers. I probably bombed this really hard. <laughs> oh my god! Like biology is number one, but like evolution is later, right? Chat is so dumb. No way, it's evolution. <laughs> Well, well, well. Okay. Who's the smartest here? Yeah. Oh my god. It was okay. wide open. I just didn't pick it. 
the fools. I, I thought math was like, you know, older, you know, like zeros and algebra bro, and the shit. Heliocentric theory, that's that's old, bro. Last Pick up a question. Book. Here's a chance to turn things around, player two. Okay. Bro, entertainment. Everybody sports loves entertainment. Oh, Son yeah. of a oh, bitch. Yeah. He loves sports. <laughs> and leisure. <laughs> oh, no. What? Uh, I play uh, sports, bro. I don't know. Uh, uh, this is a nerd up. question. This is obvious. Ooh. I think... Uh, Eagles. <gasps> I know Packers are one. I don't know who. Ravens are a relatively new team. So. No, they're picking it. Oh, God. They're heavy picking it. Oh, God. Eagles have to be over Ravens. Because Ravens were like. They were Colts first. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. That was actually so free. <laughs> like, <laughs> once again, it's up to me to potentially take down Chad by proving I am the absolute Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. I hate your character just by his mannerisms. <laughs> He's very confident. He's very confident. In second. Wait, is it over? And we have a tie so. for first nah, place. Nah, third round. Okay. Oh, damn, they actually say who the best chatters are. All these Googlers. Wait, they're all the same. <laughs> Pretty much everybody got a perfect score. Wow. How convenient. Oh, wow. Wow. I wonder how that happened. Mm. Tells you What's who is that? cheating. Final round. Bro, it's got to be. Rapid okay. fire. Oh, no. Answer a series of rapid fire questions. I, I skipped it. We're going on blind. Customs and cultures, landmarks and places. No. Is it geography, geography is where it's at. Uh, of course. <laughs> of yeah. course, what? <laughs> of course, yeah. We. God damn it! How is Chet? Oh, you know they're googling this. I know they're googling it. Why is oh, all of right. Chat saying Sri Lanka? Why hit oh, all of them no. at the same time? <laughs> oh my god. How would you have known oh, that? No. <laughs> How could you have known and that? Out until the next category. I'm out? I'm out? Uh, oh wait. my god. Wait. <laughs> Ooh. You literally just look at a map. I'm following chat. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for chat in the future. This is stupid. They didn't think this idea through. Let's try that again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Troll complete, says Chad. Okay. Good one. Good one. Okay, it can't be Sri Lanka three times in a row. No Damn. way it's Sri Lanka three times. It might be. Wait. Wait, do you guys not have to sit out? Yeah. I had to sit out. I guess it's because we all got it wrong. Oh, it's me versus Chad. That sounds kind of uh, gross. The last one is geography. Really? <laughs> they plotted against me so heavily. Wait, this is like 50-50. <laughs> Oh god, yeah, I don't know what chat. It's just a coin flip. Chat's <laughs> fucking with you now. Yeah, I. Okay. One more question oh, for this god, category. Got me. A third of the chat cheated on that. Oh, this one's easy to, to Google, right? It has to be. Yeah. Go with chat on this one. Surely. Uh, much more confident this time. Okay. Confident doesn't mean right. I mean, there's, there's so many to get over. 
they've been wrong twice. <laughs> they continually are wrong. <laughs> they got See? that one. Though. If you trusted yourself. Oh wait, no, that was wrong. No, I got it. I got it. Looks like we're giving out more than one wedge this time. I think that was the final round. Okay. Well, that was that, that time now next this year. is a good. Uh, this was a good practice game. Comic books, dance. Books oh, it's not plays. over. Okay. It's oh. arts and literature. Environmental design. I'm pretty sure I know that one. What did it? I don't. Yeah, I just wonder what they mean by that. Like, yeah. They're using that like a phrase, like everybody knows it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know who that is. Geeks. Surely. Who is the master of this category? Imagine. Art of selected. Oh my god. <laughs> uh... This is for children! Isn't everything a visual element, though? Yeah, that's why I, I kind of took one. <laughs> Who said two? I saw one person in chat jump into the interior. Oh, Larry. no, what are you doing? Out until the next category. I think I hit the wrong thing. <laughs> oh, well. Visual um, comms? Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, they have 10,000 points. Power of Google, bro. I, I need them to get one Power of Google. So <laughs> this is silly. We got a battle of the brains on our they hands. They said the word visual twice in two subsequent questions. <laughs> I got a <laughs> note. <laughs> Nicholas decoration. <laughs> I think somebody got mobile because they immediately jumped to one. <laughs> this is silly. There literally isn't time to do. Depends where you live. Category. Do you not have good internet? I was say, it's like 20 seconds. I'm you have a long time, bro. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Hold on. My boy Billy Dwiggins. That's a typographer. That's just a computer. <laughs> it's a typographer. That's a computer? <laughs> In 1922? <laughs> I don't know that that's true. But You're going to look very I'll let you have it. Right. Go right. Typographer in 1922 meant living room designer. It's really heating up. <clears throat> Whatever. I I better hope. Who got their I better hope right the flash is for the <laughs> Bro, give me some entertainment <laughs> questions. That's what I like. Oh, is it over? Oh, wait, no. You guys oh, have the wedges. Shooters. Culture, events, oh, God. both past and present. It's history. I hate culture and events. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. <laughs> what the fuck? Who what? knows or cares? I'm waiting for Chad. Oh my god, chat has made their choice. I feel like Winston Churchill had like 10. Yeah. No, it's my boy Winston C. Winnie C, bro. No, this is my chance to pull it. Big Winnie. It's my boy Big Winnie in the building. <laughs> ah. It's your chance to take yourself out of the game. He's out of the game now. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, that's right. That's how oh, that works. Oh, I'm going to pop one in. Ooh. The so oh, come on. Well, I mean. Yeah. That's easy, dub, bro. What the heck? I'm actually gonna get last place now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now I. Wait <laughs> Throw a minute. Throw me a little bit. <laughs> Wait a you minute. Know, I'll risk it. I'll Wait risk a minute. It. Wait a minute. Chad is, uh. I think Chad's stupid. Sorry. Yeah, Chad's dumb as hell. Chad's just dumb as hell, bro. <laughs> Thatcher was Prime Minister forever. Get out of the All game. Right. Chemistry? Dude, I don't. Oh god, this is so fast. Oh, wait, I didn't have time. Oh, oh, I didn't pick anything. Oh, I didn't know it was only it like was a so second. Fast. I didn't pick anything. Let's go! I didn't pick anything. <laughs> wait, that's it? You won't let me keep playing? What do you oh. mean? Why not? <laughs> we can't you score win the more round. points. So, everyone, you won the round. So, you know, <laughs> you now you're done. Points. 
<laughs> Life on Earth. I think it's about the wedges. It's not about the boys. Space. Oh god. Next up is science uh, and nature. What are you? What, what? are those? <laughs> Who? What? <laughs> I don't know what those are. I'm just gonna rely on chat googling this. Chat saying, uh, okay, it's definitely on Scylla. It's <laughs> definitely on Scylla. Chat's right. Chat's right. Thank you, Googlers. Thank you. Surely it's on Scylla's. <laughs> They're both cats? Is that true? Oh. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, chat. Apparently knows. Surely. And there they go. <laughs> I love just watching them all migrate to one answer. Onward to Google. <laughs> no, it's it's. Let's keep going. God damn it! Oh my God, chat. Son of a bitch! Just look it up, chat. <laughs> Native okay, the well, they, they just said, so I feel like... Wait, I don't know what they said on the other one. What did they... The other one was, what, South America? Is that what they I'm said? I'm not helping you, bro. Come <laughs> help! Help me! This is competitive, sir. I, I don't know what they said. Okay, it's, it's this, right? Okay. Who is it going to be? Ooh... <sighs> what? Wait. Wait, that's the small one, right? Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> I just love watching the chat. I'll flood one answer. I'm just gonna watch E. Compton and go where he goes. <laughs> e. Compton, our finest Googler. <laughs> Oh, oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> Step cat? <laughs> what do they anybody calls it? Honey, trust me, I've been trying to cheat. One. There isn't enough time oh, to God, this the one's question. Oh, God, this one's 50-50. Oh, no. Ooh. I think right. I got it. Send it. Send it. Oh, God, this, this is going to decide the winner. <laughs> oh, fuck. Maybe. There's like four more categories. Yeah. Mantle, mantle, mantle. Let's go! Oh. Let's go! Wait, give me the wedge. chat always collaborating. They're just DMing him all the answers. <laughs> One tab DMs. open, Google Chrome. Second tab, <laughs> Coney's DMs on Twitch. I'm cheating in a game with no Ladies prize. And gentlemen, we yeah, have I know. It's pretty winner. pathetic. You didn't no. win. No, no, not really, though. <laughs> oh, it's over? That, I guess yeah, that's it. Grandma Thanks wins. All our contestants for playing. Yeah, like we'll see you next time on bottom. Trivial Pursuit Live. Oh, two. they got wedges. Right. No, well, so you, did you. Yeah, wait a minute. I had all my wedges. But they have so more really, points, I guess. So. I, okay, whatever. Hey, right. check out the sports stats on him. Do me a favor, ban <laughs> the sports stats. 100% on sports, though, bro. Lock that one in. Why are you clapping sports like stats. that? Larry, did you see how you were clapping? It's a, half, it's a very half-hearted clap, because I don't really <laughs> believe that they won that. Google won that. I agree. I agree. Yeah. The world's finest search engine was the victor. Somebody donated $5. Coney, trust me, I've been trying to cheat. There isn't enough time to Google the question and answer it. You, you're very lucky that you donated anonymously, because otherwise you would be in a lot of trouble. All right, I got a new outfit. One sec. Wait, where's my new outfit? I feel bad. I think that there was someone else that, like, had as many points as E-Compton, but everybody's just shouting out E-Compton. <laughs> well, they were number one. You, so. Yeah, I was going to say, their name just came up first because it's <laughs> alphabetical. This kid loves dinosaurs? What? Did I unlock anything for... It says I unlocked a new per... Oh, no, I have to pick each of them. No? I, this is so confusing. Right, bro, I got a new fit. Oh, I see. Got it, got it. Oh, this kid is obnoxious. Wait, we have to make a new lobby every time? Yeah, it kicked me. Yeah, bro. 
I go all the way back up. That's kind of tough. Stranger Things kid, yeah. Chet has ice cream? <laughs> what? I unlocked stuff, but I didn't know how to use it or how to find it, so I'm just a new person now. It looks like plup. It kind of does, actually. You're right. Did you, uh, did you invite me? Yeah. I'll do it again if it didn't come up. Yeah, I didn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've, uh, you've given up the comedy. Mmm. I've, uh, I'm on break. Mm. A brand new accessory. How do I dance? <laughs> what Where? the fuck? With my sports gear, bro. What's up? <laughs> hey, what did I say what happened after that one game? Sports costume unlocked. That's true. Yep. Time to go a uh, sporting. I don't know what this chat thing is. I don't know why you're wearing an inner tube, but now we can all laugh at you for looking so silly. Well, I was already doing that, but we have a better reason. No. Oh, I can keep. <laughs> we have a second sports fan. What? At the last second, they yep. just become sports fans? That's now they're crazy. a sports fan too. Wait till you see it, bro. Now we got two sports fans in the building. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, to where Trivia are we? Live There's only one real one. This looks impressive, but really, this is like 300 people max <laughs> in this building. I feel like we're at the old Nickelodeon studio. <laughs> Just been repainted. Quick starter. Time to check out what this round is all about. As always, is there a way to change the game mode? Because I saw that like it had the three. Th oh, it's probably because we're playing online with viewers. Oh uh, yeah. Chat looks like like your Life cool on uncle. Earth, <laughs> technology and He's space. like your brother. Next up is yeah, science and nature. Let's see. Majority of blood. I mean. I think it's got to be. I actually don't know this one. I don't think I'm right, actually. Surely. Okay, I thought it was plasma. I'm just glad we're all wrong together. I thought it was red blood cells because your it's blood's red, to turn so it, it has to have the most of that. Otherwise, it wouldn't show up. You know? From the page to what the stage, what popped in my head was like that. Uh, arts and literature. What's that show? The Magic School Bus. Like that popped up in my head. I just <laughs> saw it. Like the red blood cells going. I'm like, it doesn't. That doesn't seem right. Uh, accuracy Dude. and calibration. What kind of? I'm not a nerd, bro. I don't know. Oh, well, chat seems pretty confident. Mm. Stop following chat! I, I did it. <laughs> They're cheating and now you're cheating. <laughs> Fuck! Did <laughs> follow chat, dude? No, I knew that one! I thought it was cyan, magenta, yeah, I thought that I knew- Oh, oh they're give giving me the entertainment, bro. It's all entertainment. Catchphrases? Oh, well, this is- this is so- <laughs> I don't think that's yeah. a catchphrase! Ah, uh, yes, my favorite catchphrase, <laughs> why so serious, from The Shining. <laughs> Jack Nicholson just burst through the door. I'll be back. <laughs> you shall not pass. <laughs> he just kept saying it all over the hotel. Oh, oh he loves God. saying it, bro. Just imagining those two twins just biking down the hall and saying, Why so serious over it? <laughs> I'm sure he had to have said, I'll be back at some point in the movie. It's like three hours. It's a long movie. Stop dancing. Someone knows their stuff. We were all quick on that one. Some of us just had the laugh Culture, first. Culture, <laughs> events, both past and present. Let's make history. Uh, what? 
Chicago L. <laughs> Chicago L. <laughs> Oh, no, dude. Like, <laughs> it's gotta be. Yeah. It's gotta be London, right? It's definitely London. Sure. Imagine the Chicago L originated the system. <laughs> it can't be Chicago. Okay. <laughs> ah, they took you from Paddington to Farringdon. I have to put down Let's my toy to goes. clap and then pick it back up. Final question. Final this is question. your chance to turn things around, player one. Oh, me? Oh. Do it, bro. Uh, do it. You know what? I, I do love some sports and, and leisure. Games. Let's yeah, tackle yeah. sports and leisure. Uh. What? What? Beehive? Sports related. It feel like it can't be. be yeah. Wait. What? <laughs> this has nothing to do with sports or leisure. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't, this doesn't feel leisurely to me. <laughs> I guess some people go to Nevada to relax. I, I know two of these. Okay, I'm not going with chat now. I should have fucking called with chat. <laughs> oh my god, dude. That wasn't even about chat for me. I just I read Beehive and I was like, dude, I'm, there's no way. Up. I thought it was Dude, shaped like a beehive. Clap it up, even though we all got the same answer. Clap it up for me. And we have a tie oh, for first place. Waving brothers to skip. Oh, look at Zach. I'm the man with pedestal. <laughs> Shut up. I'll get there. Is. More entertainment Second questions. <laughs> Make them hard, though. Close call. <laughs> Not the fucking Let's shiny. Let's take a look at the rules. Take I just don't know why that was sports and leisure. Answer. Who qualified that? Dude, sports and leisure is the most Try random. They might as well just call it pop answers. culture. Like that's what they that's what they stuff it in when it's just random. The higher your answer ranks, the more points you score. You are not like these. Just free me for whoever's. In cursor-based you know. rounds. Oh wait a minute. Yeah, geography was the option I didn't pick, and that's the one that came up. I think it might have been a bug. Ah, okay. It's hmm. your choice for this round, player one. I did, okay, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick geography, geography because last time I picked sports and leisure, and it gave us geography. Now maybe it'll give us sports and leisure. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Still geography. How does it decide the order? Longest coastline. Maybe just left or right at this point. Uh. Isn't that an island? Sounds like a long ass coast. Surely chat knows this. Is Madagascar an island? I think it is. Is, is Egypt not land? Are you just thinking that because of the movie? No. I think it, <laughs> it is an island. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, Egypt. How did I you think find that out so on. quickly? Oh, I googled Google? the shit out of that. He's disgusting, <laughs> this Googler. I got four monitors up. Each are feeding me different. I got. Di uh, Hell yeah, let's go! <laughs> I got Google, Bing, Jeeves. The wealth of the internet is at my fingertips. <laughs> Which MLB oh. team is the most fans on Facebook? What? Oh my god. That's not even like a real question. <laughs> Hey, bro, do you go to random MLB teams on Facebook? <laughs> like, we're not even talking about, like, career stats. It's not even <laughs> Twitter. It's fucking Facebook. Who has the most followers? What? No. Dodgers, bro. I think it's it's got to be Yankees 1. Well, yeah. yeah. It, 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 actually, I think it might be Dodgers 1 because it's about population more than anything. I was, I was kind of unsure about that, actually. I think it's honestly going to be the Yankees and the Red Sox. Which is why I'm disgusted. The chat is taking my answer right now. <laughs> oh boy. We love the Blue Jays, but it doesn't even matter what I pick. <laughs> what? Well, I guess it mattered a little. Boston yeah. over LA? Yeah, bro. Fans just, that just means followers. Like, everybody knows the Red Sox. Fucking fucked up. In 
insane. At least I assume. I don't use Facebook because I'm not. Still plenty of questions to pull this back. Why is Kenny wearing two layers? It's like a tropical location. Take that jacket off. Oh hell yeah! This is oh, for me, no. baby. This is for me. I actually don't. No. Oh. Yeah. I actually don't know. <laughs> I, knew, <laughs> I knew Hamilton. I got the really easy. Yeah, I think it's cats. No way. Yeah, the rest are old. Cats is like 90s. I think cats are like 90s. Jesus Christ is 70s. West Side is like 50s. I think. Yeah, West Side Store is pretty old. Hamilton is definitely number... Yeah, that's the newest one. Freebie for Kenny. Oh, He's the booster it. seat. He's the booster uh, seat. I don't know, my bro. Is it not cats? Oh, what? Good Lord. What? Oh, God. We fumbled. We fumbled the bag. Fuck, <laughs> man. I thought cats... Cats... Okay, cats was popular <laughs> in the 90s. Shit's from 81. Got it. Okay. Oh, and now Chad gets to cheat with the priority pick. <laughs> I don't see answers flying in the next six seconds. They're cheating. Fly, g answer right now. Answer right now. They're cheating. They're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> They're cheating. Whoever goes in last is definitely cheating. Hold on. Let me look at the last name. Last name. Yeah. Red Bitcoin? Is that you? I know you. I caught you. <laughs> Which of these countries join the Commonwealth of Nations? Oh. I've, uh, I feel like Cyprus has been around forever, right? It's got to be Cyprus. Sure. Okay. Fuck. I'll take it there. By the way, again, chat somehow getting it right. Wow, amazing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Interesting. Let's see how this plays out. Here's the final question. Here's your chance, player two. You gotta go arts and lit on this, right? You have to go arts and uh, lit. He is the science and nature fan. Surely. I, I don't want another one about cats. Uh, oh, no. This is something I would know the answer to, and I'm picking last. Probably not the colonial period. <laughs> <laughs> go colonial, Kenny. Go colonial. Go colonial. Think so? Oh, he's been baited by the name. It's yeah. I was gonna say it. It, it there's definitely the name on that one. Well, that's how that's you know. I'm not All right, Chad. Don't steal my answer. I want to see one person go to Cathonic Co Cthulhu went to colonial. That person needs help. <laughs> What's the romantic here? Is that like Jane Austen and stuff, you think? I'm wondering what all these are. Yeah. He saw the word Stole modern. My Stole my answer. Omega left. <laughs> How silly. Oh, look at him cheating his way in the Number first one, place. baby. I can't look stupid on stream. Hit it. Bro, we need to start That's skipping round done. two. That's the handhold round. <laughs> Just turn you it off. Are oh, you gonna lose it? Well, oh. <laughs> 1200 points. And we have a tie for second place. <laughs> Did that happen on your screen too? All the things just went up and down rapidly. <laughs> Time for our final round. Very quick. Oh, that was funny. Final round. Answer a series of rapid fire. All right, I love the rapid fire, bro. All right, I can feel it. We're taking home the dub. Just got a good luck. Oh, I, you know I love history. Again? You know I love history. history. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, I mean, it can't be, you know? Like, uh, uh, the name does not lend itself. No, yeah. I don't know where Wellington is. <laughs> I don't know. Well, maybe he wasn't born there. He just got there at some point. Yeah. Uh, married somebody? Uh, he 
wrote a book about Caesar. Uh, well? <laughs> the other guy is French, Cody. That doesn't mean you can't be born somewhere. <laughs> you can move. Parents could have been on vacation, you know? Because that happened in that time period. <laughs> Surely. Brains okay. on our hands. Defeated? Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. Fuck the is Waterloo. The questions oh. in these are either ungodly easy or impossible. Chet's wrong. <laughs> Holy shit. Are they? No, they're not wrong. 97%. I'm not even winning. Who's the master of this category? <laughs> Why did he try to throw you off? I don't know. 1821. <clears throat> Shatroom to Google. You know what I realized? I would have won that last game if I was able to get more points from continuing to play this round. Yeah, That's kind of bullshit. Went. I just realized that, bro. They just let you go. They were like, so mm, well, everybody else is done. So. Impressive. One last question everybody, to answer. Every, to Google was wrong on that one because everybody cheated. <laughs> oh, I know I this one. I do know this one. Oh, yeah, actually. Oh, so this is where it gets hard, chat. bro. We just can't break away from chat. Yeah, chat's just. They're just. Because it's only two answers. <laughs> The final round is impossible. Yeah, he got exiled and then like he came back. It's really heating up. Hey y'all. That was a temporary ban. You right? get a wedge. <clears throat> it better not be he popped him at the top of the wall. Okay. He was number five still From the though. Page to the stage. <laughs> it's arts and literature. Got up to a few wrong answers in there to mix them up. Oh fuck. First announced? <laughs> what? What do you mean announced? Huh? I think I know what this is, but. Oh, if I go down, check. So I'm pretty sure it's Dada, because Dada is like Italian, I think. That's an Italian ass name. Oh, too bad. Son yes. of a bitch! Yeah. 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 Rounds yeah. over, yeah. rounds yeah. over. Last player standing in the category? <laughs> no more points. Edge. The sports fan rises. I really thought it was Dada. <clears throat> I thought Dada was Italian. Dada is Technology, German. Oh yeah! Fuck! Chemistry, space. It it's is all German. here in science and nature. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this one's. I figured out how to win. Yeah, algebra was like Arabic, right? That shit's old. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, too bad. What? One wrong answer, and you're out right until the next category. Looks like what this the next fuck? category may be the last. I, I know how to win now. <laughs> how do you know how to win? <laughs> oh my god. Who's the Googler? <laughs> Hobbies and food. Fun and games. Oh, Let's God. tackle sports and leisure. Uh. I actually don't know. Oh. Karate has chops. So. Right? Who's it going to be? <laughs> oh, man. Kano? Uh, Mortal Kombat? Man, I had a uh -huh. laser eye in 1882. Well, in the nether realm, things are a little different. Ah, that's true. Time flows strangely. Surely. And the contest continues. 
Oh man. Martial art mainly based <clears throat> on okay. Oh! Yeah. I mean, Some of these are just yeah. gimmies, bro. They they really are, yeah. So it's first the six wedges, I guess, but you can get the wedges from any category. What happens if the tension is rising? I guess it just ends here if you guys win. But only one of you can win. Never mind. Yeah, it's Larry. Got it. Ah. Oh. Ironically enjoying the stream. Thanks, Cody. And thank you, Ubisoft, for sponsoring the stream. Go ahead and check out Trivial Pursuit Live 2. Oh, Below the, the stream, category. there's a button Earn that you can wedge. click and you can go to the link and figure out more about it. A lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. See in every uh, season. Four different times. Bro. Wait, it's, it We're has to in. be. Okay. I thought about it for a second. I've never seen it, but like... It's about Karate Kid, right? So, <laughs> yeah, kind of yeah. fucked up if not. Great show, great show. We got a battle okay, of the brains so on our hands. What happens here? Because you guys both get a wedge, so. That Larry has more points. <laughs> oh, it is points, isn't it? He really won. Ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I'm we glad we beat chat. Winner. As long well, as we beat chat. Well, well, even in a chat room full of cheaters and googlers, when the final category is about That's sports, game, one folks. man rises <laughs> I'm back above. Play again soon. He loves sports so much, bro. We should have known not to let him have anywhere near the sports. 100% on sports? Yeah. How does he do it? Yeah. That's what happened. You put in the fake sports fan and just gave me a power boost. Dude, look at the career stats. He's 100% on sports. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy shit. A real sports fan. All right, hold on. I got some new outfits, though. Mr. ESPN himself. Yep, yep. Cheating is for losers, says Jimothy. <laughs> I think I have a, I, I think I actually have a strategy to win next game. What's your strategy? What could you possibly do? If I win, I'll tell you. Kenny, stop sweating a trivial pursuit live here. Not, not Googling. I didn't say Googling. I said stop sweating. Man is really sweating in trivial pursuit Ooh, live I'm excited to try it. Unlocked, for the I Nintendo Switch. A gold medal accessory for that game. Oh. Put it on. He's number one. What, what other outfits does this girl have? It's actually a pretty deep character customization suite. Oh my god. Alright, can't wear that one. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> that one's appropriation. Uh... Oh my god, the first lady has a witch, but I can't I can't use it. Rockstar, okay, sick. Oh, I could be a doctor. <laughs> I found my character. I found my new main. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Wait, what is this? He's a jockey with like a falafel? What is that? He is a hero? Oh, that's cricket. Oh, okay. No, I'm this guy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. Hold on. I'm coming in. <laughs> this is so stupid. All right. 
You guys are getting invited. That guy has two jobs. <laughs> Alright, chat. Let's find you a good one. Oh, a Southern Belle. You guys want to be a debutante? Alright, bro. Got oh, my you medal on. Cool medal, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe you can get one someday. One day, man. Someday. I'm searching for it, which is why I, I have this... Uh, I clearly have a chef hat and I guess a chef coat on. But I'm looking for the W, bro. Yeah, you guys are mimes now. There you go. I kind of the problem with this is that I want to randomize again to see what else we can get. But I don't want to lose the mime. That's a nice mime, bro. Yeah, that's a good one. Like, the whole clown look and the flower, like, it's perfect. We keep it. Okay. Right. You son of a bitch! Huh? <laughs> you stole my whole flow! Okay, well, you don't have the hat, though, so... No, we're not the same. <clears throat> okay, we're not the same. I'm a chef, you're a detective. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't know why you're allowed to have a chef hat, but keep the magnifying glass. A little confusing. Oh, it's a tiny frying pan. Okay, yeah. Making omelets. He looks like Jordan Lee Peterson. Welcome back Welcome. for another game of Trivial Pursuit Live 2. How? Let's see who's playing. He cooks with the power of the sun. Put the magnifying glass on the eggs, yeah. It's quick starter. He only Here's cooks how it works. As always, correct answers for you. Can we get back to back wins? Chef Find with out. magnifying glass is the health inspector. Culture, I guess it's true. Events, both past and present. Let's <laughs> make history. Bro. Uh Motherfucker, what? Oh, God. I mean, glue's like... I feel like adhesives are, like, old. Yeah, but glue specifically... Well, it says glue or adhesive. Oh, right. Oh! oh! What was that? Did you guys hear that? <laughs> One of the characters went, Oh! <laughs> I followed chat. Yeah. 17! Yeah. Glue's old, bro. Adhesive is old. Adhesive is old, bro. Fish paste? I don't know about my strategy now. What is TP Spin top player? Okay. <laughs> That's what it is. Movie, music, television. Oh, he it's loves entertainment. All in entertainment. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, 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 everybody's going Joker. I don't think it is, though. I. I ha I think it's walk the line. Oh. Fuck! Yeah. I said Joker. I said Joker. Why did I go with Chad? I think it's her. I voted her. No way it's it her. Might be, it might be walk the line. Uh, Sorry. Gladiator? Okay. He was in that? He was the king. Oh. He was oh, the thumbs guy. Yeah, yeah. He's got range, bro. I did, didn't even remember him. Congratulations. Stop dancing. You look stupid. <laughs> Comic books, dance, books and plays. It's arts and literature. Uh, not the two Brontes. Fuck. <laughs> oh! Oh, for Virginia Woolf. It was Virginia Woolf. <laughs> Can you hear that? Yeah. The... <laughs> Is that your guy or mine? Both, or both of us? <laughs> <laughs> My... I have my game volume at like zero. <laughs> My guy goes, oh. -de 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 -de, and your guy goes, oh! <laughs> I have zero points. Life All on right, Earth, this is where I come technology back. and space. Oh. Next up I knew it was one of the Brontes. Nature. Kodak, Kodak Black. Duh, that's where he got his name from. 
Oh shit. Uh, that guy sounds like he's stuttering. Okay. It has to be George Eastman. The other three didn't do that. Yeah, I feel like I know the other names, and it's not the best thing. Because Wozniak was the Microsoft guy. John D. Rel Rockefeller was the Baron. Now that's impressive. Wait, I thought Wozniak was Apple. Oh, Last he was. Question Wait. Of the round. Yeah, he was. Best he was Mac. I'm thinking of the. Player one. Who's the developers guy? Custom oh, no, I didn't. Oh, Landmarks shit. and places. I didn't Geography is where it's at. Balmer. That's who I'm thinking of. Right. The Sego Lily. The fuck are you talking about? They pick like the four most obscure states. I don't know anything about any of these states. Oh! <laughs> oh! Somebody said it's not Wyoming. I definitely hit that immediately. God, it's gotta man. be Montana. I have a Wyoming viewer. I'm positive. Well, I'll tell you, Maryland is the black IP, so. Ooh. Strategy. Are you okay? What's your strategy? What are you doing? I just do that. Okay. That's not strategy. I have a guess, but I don't know if it would be a leak to say it, so I'll just I'll keep my speculation. But I have an idea. I have a very good and idea. Now let's <laughs> check out our next round. Second round. Don't worry, I'm not gonna take it for myself. Close call. Not, not a sweat bag. Let's but. take a look at the rules. Take oh, Black Eyed Susan the is the flower. Answer. Black Eyed Peas is the musical group and Try the Try to pick the bad. best of the remaining That's answers. What? It is. what? Wait, yeah. did you say? Never mind. The higher I said Black Eyed P is, the, is, the, is the flower of Maryland. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Good lord. They're just so catchy. I love their tunes, you know? In cursor-based oh, yeah? rounds. What's your favorite boom? song? Uh, the Boom Boom Pow, bro. You know, I gotta get That's that Boom one. Boom Pow. It's a good one, bro. <laughs> love it so much you don't know the name of the song. Yeah, boom, boom, <laughs> boom. That's the one, bro. Definitely not the insensitive one. The... the Let's get it started. Uh, the uncensored version. That's, uh, what will this okay. round be about, player? Ah! Science and Why nature. Why does he sound like that? <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe they made that song. Mm -hmm. Which of these natural sal natural satellites? What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that means. I don't even know what that means, natural satellites. I thought man-made satellites. Bro, you're saying Mimis. I've heard of Phobos. Pretty sure moons also like count as satellites. How did they find that in 1610? How did you find a moon? Well, what we were doing there, you know, was just we happened across it pretty randomly. How do you even get to space? Uh, oh, we got. This oh my God! Already. Are you serious? <laughs> he just gets a freebie. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but I had to remember uh, it. I had yeah, to remember it, though. Actually oh, they changed some of the answers, actually. Mmm, well. Well, no, it was it was just a guess one answer last yeah. time. Now we have to order it. No, it was it was multiple because the Chicago L was here before, too. It was multiple, but, like, everybody just picked you one You only did which one was the oldest, yeah. Huh, I don't remember that. So, like, oh, Zach knows what the top answer is. True. It's a very fair system. Here's Am I gonna be tied down. now after that? <laughs> oh wow, that was last. Berlin, Kenny? Oh wow, it's only two oh. years after Paris. Yeah, that would have been my other one. Oh no, well. That's two. It's fuck? not over yet. Or stop raging. He's like hitting the table. And he goes back to smiling, posing <laughs> eloquently. African bridges? What an obscure category. <laughs> what the um, fuck? 
That's one of the Mozambiques. Answer quickly. Oh! oh! It has to be the Suez Canal, bro. Damn it. It has to be the Suez Why Canal. Why did he get to go first? As we all know. That joint's huge. Why did he get to go first? <laughs> we have the same score. I'm player one. He has two wedges. <laughs> oh, so do I. Never mind. Still, though. We are literally tied. I'm wearing my first place medal, bro. I need, <laughs> I need some kind of privilege here. Just don't let the chat win again. My heart can't take it. I, I don't know how I anybody him wins. Once. It's up to you, man. Oh, well, well. Insane. Dude, this emoji thing is killing me. Which of these color depths uses the most? What? Um, Monochrome, Kenny. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Actually, no. It's grayscale. Oh. Uh. Hmm. What does high mean? High or deep? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, high. Color. Better pick a word. I guess I don't know what the difference is. <laughs> Making chat choose between grayscale and monochrome. <laughs> Go, chat. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, this this part of the game is crazy. It really is. It just feels like a catch up. But it's an easy question. You actually just bully them into getting up. Give it this point. Give it this point. The sports fan. It's color. still anyone's game. Final question. A billion colors? Right. Good luck we need another that nobody knows any three. answers to, so I don't get bullied in the last place. Entertainment, Kenny! We Kenny, love don't entertainment. Do it. It's too popular. Not sports! Do he loves sports! <laughs> what the fuck? He loves sports! He had to. He's 100% on sports! <laughs> so am I. Oh, baseball. Ways. I think I know this one. <laughs> Somebody said Barry Bonds. No. <laughs> not he rose, bro. <laughs> I think it is. I uh, that was my other guess. <gasps> I think it is Pete Rose, because he was like he wasn't like hitting home runs, but he was consistent, I think. I think. It's unfortunate. They threw an easy one. I was really hoping for some obscure stuff. <laughs> I watched a video on this. Yeah, and it was Barry Bonds, who had home runs, but not hits, right? I think? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Let's go! Okay. Got the out, bro. Bro, Tris Speaker? Who even is that, bro? Nobody, but I couldn't pick anything. <laughs> Told you it was Peter Rose, though. Well done. Perfect he loves sports. He loves sports. What a round. Does that count as a little Actually, this? I don't know. You're right. I guess not. If it does, that's kind of lame. <laughs> they just, you know, I, I wasn't wrong. They just yeah. made me pick last. First place. Okay, I think I catch up. All right, Kenny, the strategy I don't think is working. I, well, it We're doesn't for K. that part. It, it works very well on the final round, but it is what I think it is. Answer a series of rapid fire questions. Just a wrong answer show, could cost this. you the wedge. What is this Remember, emoji meant first to convey? First to six wedges wins the game. Bewilderment? Culture, events, both past and present. Let's make history. Oh my god. Oh! It was the Greeks! Plato built those pyramids. Right, who's got five gumbo? Okay, off the slums. I'm just seeing everybody that goes over to the Greeks. <laughs> Aramora. Okay. Yep.
They were in those togas. Who is the master of this bigs. category? These have got to all be pretty easy, right? I think it's going to get hard. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The alarm clock? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? How did you make an alarm clock? Oh! It's going to be like a bird. Like the like in the Flintstones. Somebody said it's two guys. <laughs> it's just another guy to wake you really up. <laughs> Okay. Well. It uh, was the Egyptians. They loved him. I think there's Pharaoh some... Alexander. <laughs> Great Pharaoh Alexander with his face <laughs> on the Sphinx. Some people did go over to Egypt, bro. Then Alexander wept because he loved being the Egyptians. <laughs> Lighthouse? Bro, what? are you. <laughs> what? Oh, no. <laughs> I mean. Mm. Like. Well, the people who filmed that movie invented those. I've played Overwatch, so. What? What does that have to do with. Oh, the Greek map? Yeah. With the oh. Isn't Egypt, like, landlocked? Right? Impressive. Yeah. Okay. One last question to answer to win a wedge. <clears throat> Imagine that fucking lighthouse in the landline. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we boy. We can see those guys in the sand. Oh, is <clears throat> Egypt not landline? Hold on. Egypt. No. They have, like, they have, like, they have No, they, they have oh, coastlines. Right. They do. We learned that. They yeah. do. They do. Sure hope you guys go to Greece. Oh yeah, the Nile. I, no, that's Plato was still wrapped up. Yeah, Plato was still. Wrapped up. The Nile is a river, not an ocean. This category yeah. has been a generous one. Dude, am Technology, I really gonna lose by biology, 200 points? That's space. insane. It's all here Just gotta in break away from trap, nature. bro. Oh, you know, I know that which one will be supported by the degeneracy pressure of electron gas, bro. Well, that's. God, I don't get this wrong. If I get this wrong, I'm so fucked. You know what? I go with my strategy. I go with chat no matter what. Because if they're out, I'm out. Well, you'll never get ahead of them that way. So. Who's the master of this category? Okay. Gotta go with your gut when the time uh, is right, bro. Is formed when the core of a supernova collapses. I think. Oh! Oh God, it's like 50-50. How do I go? How do I go with chat? Next question. Fuck! Get. Oh my God, I could have won. Neutrons. Cool. Give me neutron. Surely. Oh. Oh. Surely it's a pulsar. Right? And the no, contest we're all going down continues. Okay. Oh. I'm still 200 behind. This is insane. The end point of the evolution of intermediate and low mass stars. Going with my gut. That's all I can do. Chat just caught me. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, bro. Low luminosity. Okay, I have to go the opposite of chat now to hopefully pull ahead. It's kind of 50 50. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is kind of down the middle. I think they went more white dwarf. Yeah. It's Pulsar, right? It's Pulsar? 
fuck! Wow. Oh my Jet god, wins. dude. Okay. A wedge right, for man. the winner of the category. Really cool, man. Okay. Is that the game? Wait, that might not be game. Nah, I don't have wedges. Okay. Or full wedges. Oh. <clears throat> Landmarks and no. Justice, cultures and places. <laughs> oh it's way. geography. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Any Midwesterners in the chat, or? Surely we had to go to the south first. Whatever, dude. I'm just right? voting. That's... What a, who am I? We had yeah, to go to I'm the south voting. first. Because it's lower. Uh. Right? Whatever, bro. Okay. Alright. Yeah, this is my chance, bro. This is my shot. Wait, Bismarck is... I think it's... Yeah. Oh. Yeah, chat, I think we, we are both right. We both knew that, of course. <gasps> What's South Dakota? I don't remember. Oh, PA. We've got a battle of the brains on our hands. Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> the questions are either impossible or just like total gimmies. <laughs> the one that is in the north, yeah. Okay. The tension is rising. Check, can you just like get one wrong, please? <laughs> Help me out a little. I would like to win one. Rugby. Okay, well, again, I feel like it kind of gives it away. <laughs> With the name of the goddamn state. I hope this next one's hard, and I hope chat 50-50 so I can do the other one. We're gonna have to. Okay. Go ahead, chat. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. Oh, God. Oh, God. Which one has more? I think South. Yeah, I think South yeah, has more. I go North. No oh, way! Wow. No A way! A literal 50-50. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, well, well, well. I'm so sick of chat, dude! <laughs> <laughs> well, Cheating knows no end! <laughs> At least I'm not kidding. Yeah, that, uh, <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> what was your strategy? What are you doing? So I think what happened was what they again. caught on. See you next time. They started picking the wrong answer. No, they didn't. I'm terrible at trivia, but I noticed Candlelight was getting everything right, so I've just been watching him. Ah. Yes. And then he suddenly just started getting them all wrong. Ah. I didn't really. All right. He's, he's the greatest agent. You just saw one person in chat and went with them. I was like, he's the smartest chatter, and he. <laughs> One smart guy in chat. Okay. You fucking sabotage me. Alright, I think we got time for one more. Alright. Let me get a different, uh, I need a different title. I don't have any titles unlocked. Wait. Surely I got a new outfit. How many gifts do we get for winning? You don't get any! 
There's no way to stop cheating. So many outfits, jeez. A nice, tasteful brooch. Twenty gifted? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. All right, adding now. Oh my God! Hold on. <laughs> Look at this random character you guys rolled. Look at this. <laughs> Pretty smart. times in a row. Geek. Can he join up? Two times. Whoa. Oh, true. It's not in a row. No, no. You did get a dub in the all sports extravaganza. True. True. What are you holding? Is that paintbrush? Me? Yeah. Uh, I think it's a horn. <laughs> Here's this asshole again. He wears his fucking metal everywhere. <laughs> to the grocery store. Yeah, yeah. Gotta <laughs> hold on to past glories. That's all I got. <laughs> Wearing getting this metal to the singles retreat when I'm 70, bro. Well this one time we played Trivia Pursuit. I made the mistake of picking a bunch of sports questions. It was done. They didn't know I was a sports fanatic. A true it's sports fan. Live too. Let's see who's in the game tonight. First round. Can you play online with people? It's quick Can I just starter. Play Time with to random check people? out what this round is all about. I think so, yeah. As always, um, correct I tried answers for your points. Has like 10 minute queue times. Oh. I queued for rent on the league. Culture A lot events, of smart people. both past and present. It's history. Uh, bro. Uh one of these, this could be incredibly misleading. Right. Uh, oh. uh. I mean, Hello World is like the, the programming yeah. thing, but there's no way it's that. That's too obvious. That's what I want with, bro. I have no I idea. I think it's happy birthday, actually. Okay. Merry yeah, Christmas. Nice. Yeah. And that was in, was in my, I can feel that one. That I just... That I didn't is believe. interesting. That's my fault. Should have said happy holidays, bro. Okay. <laughs> Technology, <Shut up. laughs> biology, chemistry, space. It's all here in science and nature. Uh. What am I, some kind of nerd? Uh, what the fuck? What? Where's the sports questions? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I answer questions I on a periodic table. Oh, oh. All right, let Don't me look chat. at it. I'm going to chat. Don't look I'm at it. Chat. Don't you look at it, Kenny. Going with the chat, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Oh! Wait, we all got that one wrong? We all got it wrong. Right. Oh my god, I got a wizard. Holy shit, I just unlocked a wizard. <laughs> Oh, Hobbies I'm so sad. I didn't oh, get yeah. Fun. Oh, yeah. It's time yeah. for sports and leisure. What? His name is Tiger? <laughs> did you 
Did you really think it was? Or? Yes, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I thought his dad was crazy. <laughs> and he just fire. named his kid Tiger. Well, he's like half Asian, right? So I thought Tiger made sense. <gasps> huh? I, th <laughs> I don't think I've ever met an Asian person named Tiger. I don't Kenny's half Asian, you would know. I, I don't know any Tiger. I followed Chad on that one. I didn't know that one. He thought his name was Tiger. Holy shit. I thought his name was All Tiger. Right. I thought his dad was crazy. It's like, you know, fine. Yeah, yeah that wrestler's literature. name is really The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Are you fucking that is like kidding? a literal freebie. <laughs> An actual free pee. <laughs> oh my god. Come on! It was the cat in the hat. <laughs> he was actually written by Edgar Allan Poe. <laughs> <laughs> His most famous line, Nevermore. Yeah. <laughs> cat in the hat breaking into people's houses. There's just a raven outside his fucking household. Everybody got a wedge. Cool. Interesting. Here's the final question. Here's your chance, player one. Okay. Tony, select a category. Oh, bro, you know we love Movie, that. music, we love I'm just glad it's not geography. I'm just glad it's not geography. <laughs> oh. I mean. Uh, God. I thought it would, like, All be right, the well, state, because, like, that's been hinted at a few on, times. Did you turn on the children's mode, or...? <laughs> Trivial Pursuit Live <laughs> Jr. We're playing the Peter Griffin edition. That's what it is. <laughs> oh, boy. I, what if we all get everything right the whole way? Well, I guess you have to split up in the second round. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Which is what we're going into now. Yeah. I wonder how that's going to work with order. Yes, if this is like in Oregon or Kentucky. <laughs> things people say. And we have a tie for first place. Cool. Stay on target for your next win. One of the top Twitch viewers has zero points. <laughs> <laughs> on to the next round. Round two. Okay, round two. It's Surely this is where. Call. Wait, how do you? Here's how it works. Yeah, Who's that's gonna... what I was saying. Pick. Yeah, yeah wait a minute. It's random. The you can see the left or right, or it's like random. It's gotta be left or right. In cursor-based rounds. Me first. Me first. Give me an easy one. Nope. So Skinny. what? Well, it's a category is your choice, player art. three. Um, art. Don't do it. Art. Don't art. do it. Art. Oh. oh yeah, I'm going first. I'm gonna pick it. Sick oh, of geography. Thank you. Please, no geography. <laughs> Which of these categories of Pulitzer Prize? Uh. Well. Hey. Uh, <laughs> what is this order? It's, it's, <laughs> it's, just it's actually going to the right. Me next, me next. Probably. Is there a Pulitzer Prize for music at all? I don't even know if that's true. When is it my turn? Now? Okay. At the end? Fine. Okay. I don't think there's a Pulitzer Prize for music. Oh, oh god damn it. He's the winner. He's always the winner. Even if they make him go third, he's just too bright. Unbelievable. Okay. Kendrick Lamar won it? Wait, really? Yeah. Get educated, bro. Uh, uh, Trace Hermanas means three girls, sisters, sisters yeah. Uh, Ed, uh, Yumbella. Surely. And chat is immediately all going to the same answer. Okay. I'm gonna appear. Well, well, well. It seems as though chat was well prepared for this question. Ah, okay. 
Well, well, well. Let's see how those answers stack up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on! Just out of the game. <laughs> Come on! That's all right. I get to go first this time too. I'll come back. Tony has the lowest score, so they'll get to go next first. It's by a lot too. Oh god. Oh, dude, here we go. Bro, oh, wow. let's go. <laughs> what a freebie. Phew. And Chad gets to go before Kitty. Wow. Yeah, this is good. Good. Wait. Wait, established meaning like. Wait a minute. Is it Plymouth? That's not, a, that's not a, that wasn't a city, was it? Uh. I mean, Jamestown was the first city, but if we landed on Plymouth Rock. Right? If I go with a weird one, I feel like it would be Virginia, but. I'm, I'm hoping oh. they're trying to be all technical. With it. it has to be Jamestown. Okay. What the fuck? Wow. What's St. Augustine? I was gonna pick that one too. I don't even know what that is. I gotta go with my gut. That's twice this game. I've just, you know, I've. It. What? What? Well, how would I. What? What? The it's Ice Age, bro. It's fuck? Ice Age. It's Ice Age, bro. It's Ice Age. What the fuck am I supposed to do here? Dinosaur seems like. They were out of ideas, and they were like, okay, fuck it. Let's bring in some dinosaurs. That's my guess. That's my guess. I can't believe there were five of them. There are that many of these fucking movies. All right, I'm going to go. I hope there's like seven. <laughs> this would be like in the 2000s. Oh. Thank you, Kenny. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that's the second one. <laughs> that's the only that's one I know by name. Tokyo Drift came out so long ago. Why would they name it? What? Is that not like they were going for like a reference Last back in question. the 2000s? Best no. of luck with the next question, player <laughs> They're one. They're referencing when the continent started to like break apart like an ancient time. No! <laughs> yeah. No! Sports okay. and leisure. I had to run back from the bathroom. Okay, we're good. What did I, how did I do? When was Dawn of the Dinosaurs? I'm still uh, in last, never mind. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck? Uh. Okay. Jean-Luc uh, Van Damme, right? Who's Bert Terhart? That looks like the game glitched. It really does, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Bret Hart, <laughs> the excellence of execution. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who was? I thought Galileo was that guy, right? The fucking. Oh, oh, why not second? You didn't know he that. He took my answer. He took my answer. He you took don't know that I did. <laughs> Kenny took my answer. Why he united? <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Oh, check out dead last on that one. Another round comes to an end. All right, bro. I'm still in it. And now let's check out our next round. Time for our final round. Answer a series of rapid fire questions. Sure. A wrong answer we'll could cost you the wedge. I bet these are Hobbies rapid fire games, when you don't have to wait for Twitch fun. chat. It's time for probably way faster. And leisure. I don't know either of these. What the fuck? Oh, I know this one. Why can't I see where you guys go? I can only see where the chat goes. That wouldn't be fair. I want to watch you guys jump to it. Yeah. Would the open be like a tennis tournament? 
tell that's Oh, right. you're right. God Wait, damn it. I think you're right. right. Oh, shit. I think he's right. No, no, he's wrong, no, stupid I'm ass! Oh, I'm gonna eat my salad. <laughs> Prestwick Golf Club. Well? Doesn't sound British to oh. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, people are going over there. <laughs> oh no. No. No way. That shit can't be British. Sorry. What the fuck? answers mean you're out until the next category. Each category is worth a wedge. Unbelievable. <laughs> Never have I been so certain chat was cheating. Customs and cultures, landmarks and places. Geography is where it's at. Largest peninsula in the No, I'm back already. The... <gasps> is it a peninsula? I guess it is, yeah. <laughs> Yukon D's nuts, stop. <gasps> okay. It's really heating up. Surely I could beat Kenny. Just a couple more points. The 49th state. Ah. Okay. Yukon. Well, that's a real question. Oh. The team that came up with the questions definitely took a half day on this one. Who is it going to be? Central to the Great Circle Route that connects North America with Asia. Great Circle Route. I don't know where this is. Okay, I just wanted to pull ahead. I just wanted to see if I could pull ahead. I just wanted to see if I could go different. I know, Yukon's like Canada, right? This one's going down okay. to the wire. Wow. It's Wild. been in Alaska every time. White horse. Ooh, ooh. I can't Kibble believe I saw everybody that. got that I already voted. Oh. The final question was Yukon. Oh my god, I'm so far Everyone behind. who got their questions right gets a wedge for this the category. Sucks. <laughs> I think chat wins again. Wow. Life on Earth, what a surprise. technology, and How space. Chat have a wedge on Next me? up is so science and what? nature. Smaller with shorter ears. Uh, oh. I actually know a lot about rabbits. I used to have a bunch. A bunch? Ooh. Yeah. How many? <laughs> Probably like two. Oh. Oh. Probably? They <laughs> died. You've had 12 rabbits? Yeah, not at the same time. Uh, I feel like this would be both of them, right? I'm, yeah, I would. I, aren't they the same? I hope these are... Oh, these are all actually going to be about rabbits. Yeah, so you should be able to win this. I've seen rabbits born before. <laughs> oh, my God. Keep going. Uh, okay. Apparently, you weren't watching. 
I, I could have sworn they had fur. Small open depressions. Uh. Wouldn't that be? <laughs> Don't sedge. <laughs> it's not what that means. Surely. He was the master of this category. Ugh. Stop copying me, bro. Wait, I think I got this wrong. Oh my god. Oh, you pick? I already, I'm not gonna I already tell answered. you! I already answered. Just tell me. You'll see, man. Didn't, it's the, the fucking woodlands. I fucked up. Oh. Yeah, you're over there. Who's it gonna be? God damn it! I thought the rabbits would play in the fields. God I, damn it. It's not safe there. I know it's not. Because they're so small, as we've already decided. Larry, I, I didn't. Oh, I didn't press it. Oh, my oh, God. Oh, you didn't press it? Wait. No, I keep forgetting it's like rapid yet. fire when it's Six people only. Because, you know, there's no people in your chat. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Man, I knew that one, too. I just... I didn't press anything. Oh, well, it's all on Kenny now. Why is entertainment the, the last it's option? Arts and literature. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It just says that's Very straight brief. Up. The 1984 guy, chat. Yep, yep, very silly. George Orwell, yeah. Orwellian, as some would call it. I stole your way. Oh, the contest continues. This one's got to be easy, right? Oh! Huh? How do I turn chat off? It's just fucking... They're swarming. That's true. Hemingway did write in English. So... Going to be? Wait, he didn't write in American? <laughs> I think I got this. Alright. I actually don't know. I think it's... Uh, there aren't any Americans named Jane. Yeah. The tension is rising. It's like Tarzan and Jane Austen. Those two. Oh my god. Come on. Guys, don't analyze. <laughs> Chad, Chad saw the word Dickens, and then the rock started showing up. Charles, what? Last question of the category. Earn that wedge. Wait. Wait, no, this means Kenny wins, even though Larry has more points. Because of my pie. That's the insane. Mickey the Mickey win. Uh, no, I Mickey know. win. Mickey win. Less points, but he has, you know, more pizza slices because he just ate up all the pizza. <laughs> Mickey win. Don't know what to tell you, Larry. Mickey win. Oh, I know what to tell you. Look at the points. Scoreboard. That's my response. <laughs> Who's the master of this Scoreboard. Mickey win, bro. Yeah, he's right though. He is beating you by four hundred. So scoreboard, bro. Well, at least we all got a win, right? Congratulations, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. <laughs> he went up Mickey and went. back down immediately. Mickey win. Let me just let me actually go to your chat real quick. Uh, Mickey what, two two there we go. Oh no, he dropped Mickey it. Win. He dropped it. Here he comes. See you next time on Trivial Pursuit oh, Live. The chat. Two. Okay, all right. I was the only person that lost. Larry <laughs> had the most points. They both had full wedges. All right, man. A really fun game. Yeah.
I enjoyed don't, it. Don't enjoyed clap myself. for him. I, I, my character did. I didn't even have the choice. Stop Mickey posting. <laughs> well, I would have won that game if I just remembered that when chat isn't in, I need to like rapidly press something. I would have won that game. Had a, uh, <laughs> had a rabbit section. I would have won that game, man. I knew the answer to that one. I'm looking oh, at well. the objectives now because I, I have to... Let me see. Should I do another quick game with internet? No, probably not. Okay. Because I've got... Because it's a two-hour thing. And I'm at two hours of... Or one hour and 55 minutes. So I'm like... Technically... Oh, wait, no. Because I started streaming a little bit earlier. Okay. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me. Yeah. Uh, yeah I think fun. We, we've learned that uh, chat is pretty good at trivia games, man. They're pretty great. I also learned that, you know, if the Disney mascot Mickey Mouse <laughs> isn't present on the battlefield, then I, the sports fan will remain victorious. One fair and square. He had the rabbit questions. All right, I'm going to join Colin a little bit. Let me sign off. All right. All right. Yeah, see later. You. All right. Well, that's Trivial Pursuit Live 2, which you can play with your Twitch chat as well if you would like. I want to see what the other options are. You can play online with people in modes like three rounds or five rounds wait what's the difference oh five rounds is oh there's probably other games you can play too because we keep getting the same three create your favorite character what are my st oh my god <laughs> well uh you know i i to be fair i'm the one person that can't cheat here everybody else could cheat I'm not allowed to. So, wait, I can make more profile? Okay, I guess so. Yeah. Every I would get caught if I did it. So, focus win streak. Surely I can pick a better title now, right? I don't have any unlock. Damn, 1,000 questions correctly. Good lord. Did I unlock anything with that? Oh, wait, no, I got the wizard. <laughs> Wait, I didn't get the wizard? I got Indiana Jones. I could swear I got a wizard hat. Oh my god, it's just the hat. <laughs> I, <laughs> I didn't know it would just... Oh my god, I need to play three games as Gregory. Fuck, man. I should have stopped switching characters. Wait, what are all the outfits if you keep switching? Wait, I want to play as this guy. There we go. Three games as Duncan and he gets fancy. What happens if I play three games as Grandma? Oh my god. I've made a mistake. That one's not good. I definitely should have just played three games as the same old guy. What? I can't change? Oh, I see. It's like a bug. Wait, why can't I change my character now? I'm locked in. Do I have to change something and then go back? I see. Okay. Ah, this is a reference to Roller Champions, the hot new game. Guys, remember to check out Trivial Pursuit Live 2. You can find it below the stream. There's a little panel. Go ahead and click that. You can play the game for yourself. All you do is roll a champion's post. That's not true. I just Trivial Pursuit posted for two hours. Stop. Check out the game. If you guys want to give it a shot, it's on Switch and all other systems as well. Okay. Big thanks to Ubisoft for sponsoring the stream. And thank you guys for being here. I gotta go to bed though. It's late. Uh, uh. Yeah, no raid. I'm tired. Good night. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me run the ads. I always forget. <laughs> Get all the sleepy heads. Beautiful. Bye.